All right. Well, there we are. There we are. So, guys, welcome to a semi-spontaneous stream. So, today uh, we have another unboxing, which uh, came about a little bit randomly, in honesty. Um, I got... Um, it's uh, I just got a kind of message through Facebook and things like that saying, oh, we want to send you some Latvian beer. So I was like, hell yeah, cool. Why not? So, yeah, that's what's going on today. We're going to unbox uh, the Latvian beer. And then I think Thomas and uh, Harry are going to join for a bit of uh, bumming later. And we'll uh, we'll see, actually. So, yeah, pretty cool. I'm on my standard pepsi max raspberry or sometimes i've got raspberry fanta just whatever i feel like but uh, yeah been studying swedish today um i have another spoken exam tomorrow um so i think i feel ready for that that should be fine uh, and then i've got my written exam on thursday and it's quite funny at the moment i pass everything and i pass everything quite well except for the vocabulary because i just you know i can't sit and uh just memorize words. I've never been good at that. But yeah, basically reading through the textbook, marking all the stuff that I don't know, and then yeah, seeing how it goes. Fun times, fun times. But yeah, um, now the beers that we have today are from a brewery called uh, Hoppala, and I'm hoping that I've pronounced that right, but these guys are from a place called Yelgava, which is to the southwest of the capital city, Riga. Um, but yeah, I actually, I have no idea what exact stuff they've sent me. It's a heavy bastard of a thing. So, you know, look at this. That's got to be, that's a proper slab of beer, that, as you would say in Australia. But um, yeah, no, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, big thank you to um, Remance, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. So yeah, big thank you to Remance for... Uh, organizing this for me i don't know much about this brewery yet actually so that is something i'll need to talk to romance and uh you know i'll need to talk to romance and and uh, get some information on the brewery and things like that but yeah let's go for it and uh get started on this very curious just very very cool to see what um to see what we've got open for this one um oh this is the <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, there's a little uh, folder thing in here. What's this? Is this a little letter or something or an invoice? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, this is going to be the next thing, trying to figure out how to get this this bugger open. Ah, yeah, this is just the, the invoice thing. Okay, you know what? We'll just use the knife and cut through this plastic because that's going to be far easier, I would think than unwrapping the whole bloody thing. So yeah, it's got, yeah, there we are. Yeah, here we go, look at this. Look at this. Always fun, it's always fun. All right. Lots of plastic. <laughs> this is always fun. I see we've got a few comments already. I'll come to those in just a second. There we are. Right, so we've got the box out now. Now it's to get the stuff out of the box. There we are. Oh, get this fucking cable out of the way. Yeah, but we've got Severio saying hello. Mm, no alcohol, but unhealthy fuzzy cola. Seems legit. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Capsi uh, Capsidi team. Mm, okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah. I don't know what that means, sorry. Need to explain. I'm guessing that's Latvian or some description of that language. Latvian and Lithuanian, I have no idea about. I knew know a few words of Estonian, but they are completely different language families. No clue. Mm. But yes. Um, so... Let's look at this then. Is this going to be 440s? Maybe. I don't know. But this is a full crate. This is a full crate. 
Ooh. And it's got a coaster and everything. This is nice. Okay. So, let's have a wee look. Look at this. Just bring the camera down so you can see a little bit. There you go. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. Oh, I like this. I fucking hate seagulls. I love this. In Aberdeen, seagulls, they're like genetically modified. They're about the same size as cats. I hate seagulls. This is my new favourite thing. This is going behind me for the beer videos. Fuck seagulls, man. I hate them. <laughs> but that is pretty cool, actually. Awesome. Yeah, thank you for that. That's my favourite thing in the box, maybe. <laughs> uh, life is too short to be normal. Stay weird. Absolutely. Absolutely. Be a Fruit Loop. That's the way to go. I like that. I've never understood this thing, though, um, with the uh, the horse face masks. I've never understood this. But yeah, the unicorn, the national animal of Scotland. That's awesome. National animal of my homeland. We've got one here that's just that's like a window. I'm guessing this is from Riga somewhere. Not 100% sure exactly what this is. It's Masco Acteros Ba Ridsinias, something like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and that's the same one again. Yep. Got lots of uh, little stickers here, so that's pretty cool as well. Hmm. Yeah. So lots of different colours. The artwork is pretty, pretty snazzy, I have to say. So, yeah. Hopalai, Hopala, purple and fabulous. Hopala Brewery. There you go. And yeah, some nice blue ones and things. So, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. This should be quite nice, actually. All right. Well, we'll need to see. We'll need to see about this. Um, so we've got two. We see, it seems that we've got like four six packs of things. So are these all like mixed sixes or what are they? Hmm. Okay. So we're a bit... These look as if they're all different. <laughs> These things look as if they are all different. Okay. Let's just figure this out. Oh, right. So, sour bit triple fruited. Okay, this one. 7%. Guessing this will be like a... Uh, it's a German ale yeast. Hmm. Probably some sort of like Berlina Weisse. Something that's got a bit of lactose in it. So this will be one of these big kind of fruity, juicy Bellina Vices. Something like that. Okay. The next one. This guy. Hmm. Black espresso stout with the rocket bean distillery. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this one. What's this? 8% ABV. Should be quite interesting. I like this as well, how they've got all the malts and the hops on the side of the beer. That is a pretty nice touch, actually, because that way, you know, drinkers can learn about all the different stuff that's in the beer. That's what I really enjoy, at least. That's one of the big reasons I love doing this whole beer tubing thing, because you're always learning stuff. But yeah, a coffee stout is always good. Sour bit, rhubarb. Okay, that'll be interesting. This has got mint in it as well, and cucumber. This could make for a very interesting beer. Mm, mint and rhubarb. Okay. Right. So that's a seven percenter as well. Craziness. Yeah. Sour bit. Awesome. All right. Next one. Oh, the Nebula. I've heard this is a good beer. I had a little look at them when... Uh, they got in touch with me. I had a little look at this. This is supposed to be very nice. The Nebula, double dry hop, double IPA. So yeah, Columbus Mosaic, Simcoe, London Eel Yeast, Maris Otter, Wheat Dextros. That sounds like it might be a more kind of old school IPA. So yeah, this will be quite interesting. Mm. Okay, double dry hop, double IPA. All right then. So I'm actually going to lift this and put it here so I don't destroy the cans and the... That's a fucking cable. Right, so, here we go. So, the last two cans in this six-pack. Cloud number 11, Milkshake IPA. Okay, both of these 
are the same ones here. So yeah, there must be some doubles and things in here. So I'll be sharing the doubles, I think. I'll maybe give the, some of the doubles to some of my beer tubing friends, actually. If there's some doubles of stouts and stuff, I'll take those over to the States with me when I go next month, hopefully, if that pans out. But um, yeah, this one, Cloud, IP, Cloud uh, number 11, Milkshake IPA, 7% ABV, Mosaic Citra and Talus. That will be very, very interesting, actually. That will be really cool. Mm. These guys seem to have quite an impressive range of different things. So, yeah, this is an insane amount of beer, though. This is just craziness. So, what have we got next? Mm. We've got two abstract IPAs, double dry hopped IPAs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so these ones are... Oh, this is a bit difficult to see. El Dorado, Nelson Sovian, and Galaxy. That's an interesting combination. But yeah, this one is uh, 20%. Uh, 6.5, sorry, it's not 20%. It's like, oh, shit. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. It's got all the, the, the Latvian on the side there. I'm never going to be able to translate that for you. But that is pretty cool. The abstract IPA, double dry hopped. Awesome. What are these two? These two are different, of course. Yep. So we have, or wait, are these doubles as well? Yeah, I've got two of each of these ones that I'm going to show you. Okay. So, um, yeah, session two, small IPA. So this one, 4.9% ABV, Mosaic and Sabro. That'll be very nice. Bit of lactose, yeah. This will be a quite an interesting one to do. So yeah, the Hoppala session two small IPA. That should be pretty fun. Um, yeah, very nice, very very nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna have lots of reviews to do from this, right? Enough. Uh, Planet HBC four thirty one. Hmm. What hop? Does that hop not have a name? I've heard this one going around quite a little bit, actually. I've had a few beers with this in it. I can't remember what it's like. The yeast. I like the name of the yeast in this. Imperial Juice. But yeah, that's a 6.5 percenter. That's a 6.5 percent IPA, this one. And going from the malt base, this one is... Uh, that's a New England. That's a New England IPA. Mm. That would be very cool. So we have two other six packs in here. Are these? I have. Yeah, I and mean, this is, again, these are all doubles, if you like. These are all doubles. So, yeah. Okay. So, let's take one of each of these out. So, this one, the cloud number 12. Milkshake IPA. All right. So, this is a 7% uh, or again. Milkshake IPA. Mosaic, Citra and Cashmere. That's another good combination. I've had that a few times. Cashmere's got a really distinctive melon and lemon limey sort of thing. Very pungent hop, actually. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Let's stick that back in. Uh, this one. What's this? Mmm, the Hyper Jump, a triple IPA. That should be really interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hyper Jump Triple IPA, 10.5% Mosaic and Victoria's Secret. Mm. Cool. So, yeah, another, that's a New England one going from the malt base there. Pilsner Golden Promise Flake Feet Sweet oat, Flaked Oats, Imperial Juice Yeast. Curious to see what that's all about as well. All right. And that's a double. Yep. Yeah. This one here, the Fruit Shake Citrus Mix. Is this a sour? Oh, right. Okay. This is interesting. Yeah. So the makeup of this one, if you look at this, this has extra peel, uh, wheat and flaked oats in it, citra, azaka, magnum, then grapefruit, orange, lime, zests. <laughs> That's interesting. A London fog yeast. Fruit shake. That will be a really quirky one to take a little look at. But um, yeah, that's really Really interesting. Um, yeah. Wonder why that is. Wonder why that is. Oh, Severio's saying, I wonder if my one is so unclear. 
it's really weird. Sometimes my network, my network sometimes goes up and down. It's a bit strange. We've got like two Wi-Fi routers. And I don't know why we have this. I don't know why we have this in this apartment, but we've got two of them. And sometimes it bounces between 5G and just normal. So it's a little bit unusual in that sense. I'm not sure exactly why it does that. But yeah, on to our last little six pack of beers then. Are these doubles or are these... Ah, these actually look as if they are singles, actually. So yeah, we maybe need to take... Oh no, there's two. These two are the same. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we've got a few different ones here. Okay. Right, so the first one that we have here, Sourbit Triple Berries. All right, so ABV in this one is six. Oh, I need to take away the serious thing there. Yeah, so the ABV in this one is 6.5. Yeah, so this one, by the looks of it, is another... This one looks like it's a goza. It's got sea salt and lactose and vanilla beans and stuff in it. So that's a goza. That should be really interesting to try. Absolutely. Um, yes. All right, and this one... Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. This one is a milk stout, the black oak milk stout. So that's going to be... Really nice to, uh, really nice to sh to have a little look at. Let me just, what's going on here? Let's, what's going on here? Um, fire the link. Sending out the link for it because we're nearly done with this. But yeah, a black a milk stout coming in. This one is seven point five percent. So that's a decent percentage behind that as well, actually. So um, yeah will be quite nice um yeah oak chips lactose and vanilla beans i think this might well be one of the ones that i enjoy the most so yeah um black chipotle stout oh i don't know how i'm going to do with this not the greatest fan of chili stouts i have to say but um yeah we'll see how this goes as well um black chipotle stout in collaboration with burka and Ladus. Okay, there you go. Chipotle stout, 8.5%. Need to see about that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll, uh, not sure how that one will work out, but we'll figure it out. On to our second last beer. Second last beer then. Um, yeah, this one's simply called Black Chocolate. So 9.5%. This one, this is an Imperial Stout, Cocoa Nibs, Vanilla Beans. And a very impressive malt bill on that as well, actually. So. Yeah, this one's a 9.5 percenter. This is a bit of a monster. So, yeah, that'll be a very, very nice beer, actually. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh -huh. All right. So, oh, we've got Sean coming in. Hi, James. Hope all is well, my man. Say hello to all. Say hey to all. Sean, nice to, ha nice to have you along. I'm, I'm doing some foreign. It's foreign beer. It's very foreign. It's from, from Latvia. You know, it's from Latvia. Yeah. <laughs> I love your live streams, mate. Always very entertaining. Glad, <laughs> glad you like them. Just basically showing you his beer. Some of the other beer tubers are going to join in in a little bit as well. Um, I think we will have some Latvian beers for the rest of spring, watching you enjoy these beauties. And then we just have our last one to show, and I can see Thomas is in the basement. So just show you this last beer, and then we'll get Thomas in a second. But yeah, our last one that we have is the Tropical. So oh, I need to get rid of Severio's comment there. But yeah, this one, 7.3% ABV, this one, Chinook, Amarillo, Citra, and Mosaic. And this has got a bit of lactose in it too. So I'm wondering, that might be, not sure whether that would be more of a New England or a, or what exactly that one will be. But uh, yeah, that's that. So lots of interesting beers to try from these guys. But yeah, big thank you to the guys at Hopala for this. There's a huge amount of beers in there to take a look at. I'm going to have about 15 reviews from this brewery or something by the end of it. But yeah, there's quite a few in there that I can share with friends and things, which will be quite nice. So awesome. Big thank you to uh, to the guys there for that. But uh, yeah, let's get Thomas in and say hello. Hi, lover. Hello. 
Hi, Joe Face, how are you? Oh, I forgot to turn the light on. I'll go turn the light on for Just give me a second. Ah, oh, yeah. A bit, that's a bit, it's a wee bit dark, isn't it? It is a wee bit. Aye. Aye. Mm. Mm. I don't know why he's doing that, because Thomas and I like it in the dark. That's just how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Awesome. All right. <laughs> so Severio is saying, I think we will have some Latvian beers for the rest of spring. Watching you enjoy these, buddy. Awesome. No, that's Beauty. Nice. And we've got Haza. He's the jam Hazza. in our jelly. He's the, he's the jam in our jelly roll. Hello, boys. Hello. 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 How's, Hello. How's, how's everybody doing? Fabulous. Good. Yeah. Oh, and we've got Valdo. Hi, James. Fancy a bum drinking the bums machine of the Moors Little. Mm, always. I do fancy a bum, actually, Valdo. I do. If that is that actually a beer, bums machine. Bums, I reviewed it, mate. You actually, that's funny as fuck because you once told me to review it and I already had reviewed it. And now you're forgetting about the fact that it exists. Well, there's actually something called bums machine. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a collaboration between Mooslotl and uh, Sudden Death from Germany, and the story is is that uh, while they were over for something with a different beer collab, somebody from um, Sudden Death stood up on the table while after a few beers and screamed, "I uh, ich bin ein Booms Machine," <laughs> which you know literally translates oh, to. I don't know God. if this is I, I don't know if this is just a story on the can, but. <laughs> I, I thought it was funny machine. as fuck. Well, yeah, Thomas, machine. Yeah. well, Thomas, I'm going to ask you now. Will you buy me a booms machine? Uh, um, I am your booms machine, but you are my booms machine. But will you buy me a liquid booms machine? I will see if it's still available because it's a one-off brew. Mm. So I go. I can see. Let's let's check out. It's a very annoying echo. Do you guys? Are you guys hearing an echo? I'm here. Hi. No. No. <laughs> That's it's it's only it. when only when I'm here that you hear it. This is true. This this is very true. <laughs> oh man. So let's see. Can yeah, but yeah, we need to we need to get a bum. So yeah, we need to get a bums machine. Bums machine. A for, foreign bums machine. It is a foreign bums machine. It's, 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 it's a foreign bums machine from a foreign brewery. Crikey. Breweries. <laughs> Oh, that word! Should, it, at this point in time, that word should not be as fucking funny as it still is. It's the, it's yeah. It's, it's, it's funny. It's funny. It's fucking hell. After your screenshot of me looking like a communist dictator, it's a yesterday. fucking communist, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it just came to me spont. It just came to me spontaneously. Like, oh, let, let's just screenshot my mate looking like a communist. Yeah. No, that was it. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> just you, you put the Russian beer. I was, I was you, when I wrote like uh, when I wrote like foreign writing. You said foreign rating. I was like, no, fucking foreign writing, the Cyrillic. I was yeah. like gutted that you didn't get that. It's like no, <laughs> <laughs> foreign writing. So guys, oh, this right. is a new a new rule for the comments. No proper English. You've got to write it syllabically. Write <laughs> syllabically in it. Um, oh, that's the rule. And, 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 and no likes, dislikes, all the dislikes. And I'll, I'll just trigger you all by wearing this. Yeah. Like, Easy facky. I, I've heard, I've heard that in Swindon there is communism. Jesus it, Christ. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, well, I, was about to, I'm, 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 I was trying not to say it, but Adam already is saying, what do you mean it looks like a communist? I'm the, I'm the, I'm the Soviet Mario brother. He's got well. He's got a he's got a he's got a handmade suit from North Korea as well. Genuinely, yeah. so I'll believe that. Actually, I really will. Yeah, actually, that, we're not um, even. That's, that's not even bullshit. That's true. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my 100, god! One hundred and five euros it cost me. God. Probably doesn't fit me anymore. I'll have to get a new one. Mm. Well, we'll do that next year. Yeah. yeah we will. Or when we do well, actually manage to make it to North Korea, yeah. After after <laughs> briefly speaking with CJ, he said that like um, it's probably not. He's not sure when it's going to happen. Uh, he doesn't think it's going to open up next year. No, he'll he'll like find out at the last minute, mm. which is the okay. way it runs. 
They'll tell and be like, bring people tomorrow. Woohoo. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. We can sort that. <laughs> and we've got Daver saying, Good evening, guys. Looks like a solid brewery. It does actually. I'm very impressed that I've I mean, I'm trying to think other than Arpus. There was Aru. What was the other Latvian brewery I had recently? There was. Let me go into my mm. videos and just write Latvia, because then it appears. You go do that. I, I can't find the. I can't find the bumps machine anymore. By the way. Oh, no. You use them all. <laughs> of course I have. Ah, you what slag. You slag. Ah. Um, but that was at Odu Brewery. Odu Brew Brewery was the other one that I had. If you, mm. if you if you type in bums machine beer, it, it first thing that comes up is physics draft pool beer dispenser. Mm. I think it comes really? up with like because it's obviously a beer machine, but it, it just it thinks it's a bums machine. It's wrong. Mm. Can, can, bum machine. If you go into the this time, uh, it's a bums machine. When you come and visit Copenhagen, you will need to take. You need to be careful if we go to Warpix, which we undoubtedly will. Don't go into the shops there and ask for a bum machine because that's exactly what you'll get. Any <laughs> house <laughs> That's not a problem. Even, even my own. Yeah. yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, I'm, love the British Jesus look that Thomas is pulling off. Can I just? Can I just quickly? I don't think Danky was aware of the fact that um, I'm not British. He's British. Um, he's North British. I'm Dutch. He's not Dutch. He's North Belgian. <laughs> he's North. I'm North Belgian. He's not Dutch. Actually, he's so... North Belgian. He's uh, one no, of those Axis. They're yeah. not the Axis forces. He's, he's not the Axis. He's, he's not the Axis. He's, he's not the Axis. He's, he's not the axis and you oh can go there on the ferry, so it's all right, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh God. It's oh, all coming back. This is... This is... Why, why did I know that this is, was going to end? <laughs> We've lost about four viewers after that. After oh, four I'm, I'm not Good. fucking surprised, man. Let's lose some more. Fucking There's some more. Dis <laughs> we lost more. <laughs> dislikes. <laughs> dislikes. Fuck off. Dislikes. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, awesome. Um, a true lover. Love to do it with the light on. Oh, that's it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kinky. We've got Julie. Cheers, lads. Nice to have you, Julie. Hello. Hello. Hi, Julie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mentioned James about that bum beer months ago. Oh, I forget. Yeah, he did. Davor is a very sex. Davor is a very sexy <laughs> man. I have to say. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I met Davor in Munich, and he's a very sexy man. He's just a foreign. He, he's my Slavic sausage, isn't it? He's, he's um, very, very much. He's yeah. Yeah, I want. To, I really want to go to Slovenia and visit Davor. We need to get that sorted within the next year or so. Um, I'll. will always do my best. Oh mm. my god! I'm. Do, I'm not sure exactly what this is for because we've said a load of shit the last few minutes. Uh, <laughs> probably just your face. Just my face. Yeah. No. That's it. Yeah. Uh, why don't you guys have a podcast? <laughs> Podcast, because podcast would be a bit boring. I think podcast would be a bit boring because then we don't get people in the comments trolling us and disliking yeah. things. Podcast would be a, well. I suppose they dislike it after, but then we don't get the live dislikes. That's the thing. True. Yeah. What do you and mean? I do you like. I do like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, crotch the crotch the suit. No, Adam, that's a special for you. That's what we say for you. Ah, uh, super special for you. Super special for you. Yeah. Mm. I watched that episode recently again of South Park. You know, for the goddamn Mongolians. What Mongolians <laughs> do in Colorado? It's the, worst, it's the worst episode. We show it to um, my uh, Zola, my, my sister in law. It's like one of her favorite episodes. She's like, she's met, they've mentioned the Mongolians. Yeah. It was like, it's horrible to Mongolians. It really is. <laughs> It's soup, but that's I just, I just, I just, just love that bit. I just love that bit where the the guys, the guys, the guys just like, what Mongolians do in Colorado? <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Oh my god, no! Yeah. It's like, no, you should seriously, you should make a proper podcast. Should we? about that. Mm. I think you can, that. you can already, you can already start a podcast with. Um, Streamyard, uh, where you just record and you download the audio itself. Mm. I'm not sure if okay. you have you, you you may have you may need the paid version though. 
I could do it on mine. I've just yeah. never never bothered doing it. Actually, I did yeah. it once. Um, but then you've you've also got like the the eight hour limit, and and weirdly on what I was doing, I went over the fucking eight hours. Just like well, now we're just going to cut it off here. Oh, great, love cool. Oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. We should we could think about a pod. We could think of a uh, a podcast. We could. I, I've I've looked into doing it because I've had suggestions from a couple of my mates that we were going to do something, um, and we're, we're kind of off and on working on it as well. But like my thing is when I see podcasts, like you know, I, I don't watch it, but you you always see snippets of the Joe Rogan's podcast and how professional that looks because they've got a professional producer who's actually made yeah. it. Um, and then when I also watch Jimmy O, Jimmy O, whenever he does his actual kind of podcast style things, though, you know, it's much more rough around the edges. Um, he again has a fucking producer who's just his mate, who was the producer for this, for this podcast. Um, but then he go, goes and does all these live streams and builds his channel up and just basically just talks shite um relentlessly um I, 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 I don't know what what would you do what would you talk about in a podcast whatever you want is it i is, mean is, do you is, want to discuss a brewery? you could discuss a brewery you could discuss a specific type of beer you could discuss uh, the political landscape of uh um I don't want to discuss political landscapes of breweries because there's enough of that going on. No, I don't. But yeah. what I'm just saying is that there's enough to talk about. There you go. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. Yeah, no, I love. I'm, I'm love. I'm have to admit, I'm enjoying all that that stuff uh, that we're seeing. The folk that have made the the, the, the new UK CBA. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Hilarious. Fucking and then, nabbing, nabbing the screen from it as well. Yeah, and then Paul, and then yeah, Paul McDermott's just going mental and like giving everybody abusive messages. <laughs> and his best insult for them, his best insult is it, you're you're a Tory. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? The the, 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 the 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 guy who runs the UK there's the UK CBF forum, the original. Mm. Well, it's not. Well, it's not. It's not the original one because it's not legitimate. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the one, the the one who who the, the forum that first masqueraded as uh, as the UK CBF. It's run by a guy called Paul McDermott. Um, um oh, this guy. This guy. It's it's um, it's like if you turned the beer hooligan into a labour activist. Um. <laughs> it's, um it's uh, it, it's just uh, the, the, there's the, this guy. It's it, it, it's like oh, I don't know. It's like it's like the mo- the the modern Mao, but from the Midlands. Something uh, like not that. not my part either. Yeah. Is he from is he from the Midlands? He's from, yeah, he's from Nottingham, Nottingham ah. West away. Yeah. We just say we just get ragged to deal with him. Get yeah. ragged to stick the heat in him. Boof. Sort of move. but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, this this guy like he's it's quite funny like he's he's this the the guy who's doing the the legitimate UK CBF now keeps getting all these abusive messages from from Paul McDermott, and his best insult to him is "You're a Tory." It's like, yeah. God, oh man, it's just it's just hilarious. Oh, you support a political party? That's an insult, Thomas. You're a social democrat. Um, probably. <laughs> oh man, it's just that's, it, it just amazes me. That's that's considered an insult, you know. Oh, and uh, Thomas, you're not you're not looking hard enough. Ah, oh, come on, I'm, I'm just not hard enough right now. That's the problem. Mm, it's because it's Harry and I aren't there. No, mm. I miss you guys. Ugh. We need to. We actually need to sort that. We need to, like like I was saying to you the other day. Like we need to come back mm. to. Uh, um, you do. Oh. Yeah, we need to come back. It's it's the Netherlands. Yes, my yeah, brain's not working. <laughs> no, it could be. It's well, it could be fun, it's, it's not the Netherlands. It's it's North Belgium or West. It's it's West Germany. West Germany. West West Germany. <laughs> is it, is it, I thought it was South Denmark. South. <laughs> it's not. It's not connected to Denmark. I don't know that. Yeah, that's it's it's it's. It's uh, South West West it's South it's, West West Denmark. It was it's it's known as the former Atlantis 
because it, it used it, to be under, it, underwater. It, it's yeah. it's the former Spanish Republic of of uh, North West <laughs> West Germany. <laughs> it used to be the Spanish Netherlands, didn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's still in our it's still in our uh, anthem. But, but that's not the question. The question was, did they still speak foreign? You're obsessed with that word, aren't you? That is fucking Harry's <laughs> fault. It is Harry's I know. fault. F O R R I N. It's just, it, oh, I don't know. That word just cracks it, me up. It really it's does. It's phonetically spilt. It, it's phonetically sound, isn't it? it it's the uh, <laughs> logarithms of the sound. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. um, yeah, he, he's, he's Jim Thomas is my own personal Jesus. 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 Jesus Christus. Spanish Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm, so, I'm so Spanish. Mm -hmm. Thomas, I had a good laugh last night. Oh, fuck. I was so fucking drunk. I didn't see what, what happened last. Oh, was that? Oh, it's Sunday last night. Yeah, I was probably sleeping yeah. after work. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't that drunk. It wasn't like I was drunk. I was drunk afterwards. But okay. So um, one of the viewers sent uh, all four of the members of the DBC. Um, mm. I'm still so fucking tired. Sent us uh, this. Oh, Ooh, okay. The barrel so is there. Yeah, yeah we, all, we all had a can. And um, with the request, can you guys do a live stream? We were like, of course. But let's make it just slightly more epic. So I uh, threw a line out there to the Americans because they can get that beer pretty easily. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the end, it was uh, Matt, Sean from NerdSense, and Keith. Uh, and of course, the four of us. So it was one big, giant review. Um, but it was Sunday afternoon for me, for the Dutch guy. So it was a uh, Sunday evening. So it was 9 p.m. Of course, we're going to have a beer three or so during the day, four maybe. <laughs> and then I did a then I did a quick live review, uh, like an hour before the live stream. Of by the way, really like this. Antihero by Revolution. Where are they from? Uh, America, the United oh. States, from Chicago. I like this. This is actually very decent. And it was two and a half months old. So you, could, you might still be able to grab this up somewhere in the UK as well. Hmm. So that was throughout the day. Then at 9 p.m., being already slightly intoxicated, but still of sound faculties i decided to do this beer which is an 11.9 percent uh barrel age imperial stout it's a fucking pint <laughs> and then when the live stream well the live stream wasn't done the review was done people were like what are we gonna do are we gonna do just hang out a little bit more talk and drink yeah sure we can now a sensible thomas would have grabbed like maybe a little wheat ale or maybe like a session ipa so, of course, I grabbed another 12% barrel-aged quadruple. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked myself over throughout that day. So this, this morning, I just woke up. I wasn't really hung over, but my entire system just basically woke up and realized, yep, it's Monday fucking morning, isn't it? You bastard. You fucking <laughs> bastard. Again with the fucking Monday morning. So, yeah, that was, um, that was fun. And then you got up and went to work? Yeah. Oh, well done, boy. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean... I've been, I've been there before. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. I mean, it wasn't as bad as uh, after the, 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 the birthday live stream. That was... Oh. It was a good thing I had the morning off, but that was... <laughs> that was truly epic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's always good. It's always good. Yeah, but that uh, was a good time. It was loads of fun. Yeah, it's still on my channel, so you can rewatch it if you want. I'll need to have fun. a wee. I'll need to have a wee watch of that. I saw screenshots, I, and I was like, "This looks fun." It was <laughs> hilarious. I'll need to have a little look at that. Absolutely. <laughs> to be fair, Paul McDermott knows more about beer than the beer than beer hooligan. That is yeah. True. yeah, the video. I, I still love that video where he's in. He, he, it's the election. I forget which one it is, and then he's in like a brew dog bar. And then he's, he goes on, if you have a soul, vote Labour. And then someone just over the side of the house, get Brexit done. 
<laughs> oh dear, you could just see his heart breaks. He's like, I've just been at a concert moshing me tits off, but it's the election night, and if you have any soul, vote Labour. Get Brexit done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's priceless. It's absolutely priceless. You can just see this guy's world shattering behind his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's just, it's like, you're just like, it's, you know, it's like that scene in Shrek when it's the cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like, Davor, if James comes to Slovenia, he should try the cock. To, I'll, I'll have try your cock, a cock, a cock ta. Um, always. Um, since he is a lover of weird cola, cock. Cocktail was the Coca Cola of the socialist Yugoslavia. Oh, I've heard Ooh. about this. I, they 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 said this. When I, I was watching a bold bankrupt, and they were talking about local fucking Coca Colas across uh, the Ooh. Yugoslavia. I love his chat. I love that. I love bank world and bankrupt. Actually, yeah. 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 I think it was actually when when he was in in Czech Republic, they were talking about their local Coca Cola. <laughs> Yeah, um, or, or Chechnya, or whatever you fucking call it now. Chechnya, oh. Huh. Well, no, is it, che, 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 Czechoslovakia, they call it Chechia? Czechia now. Che, 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 well, its official name is yeah. Czechia now, but the Czechs just still call it Czech Republic. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know. I think that's Why not? Yeah, yeah Czech, Chechnya yeah. is a bit different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chechnya, Chechnya is a bit different. <laughs> Yeah, I love um, Bolden Branca, but though you've got all that that Buddhist republic. He went to visit like the one Buddhist republic in the middle of Russia. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I've been watching a bit of Harold Boulder as well uh, recently because yeah. they're they're both doing Ethiopia together, mm -hmm. um, which is bizarre for them. Like I think I remember he was going to do more of Tajikistan, but then didn't do it because his visa didn't come through for whatever reason. And um, so then he just decided to go to Ethiopia. And, yeah, because uh, it's Tur it's Turkmenistan that's the mental one that has like the North Korea type guy, isn't it? Turkmenbashi, I think his name is. Uh, I think that's. I think it is. I think that's the one that's like a North Korea style dictator, or something. I, yeah. I believe you. Yeah, because I know that Kazakhstan Kazakhstan's quite dangerous. Yeah. Uh, I thought Kazakhstan is supposed to, like quite a few of the guys I know in Aberdeen have been out there to work in the oil and they say that it's just wild out there. Um, Uzbekistan, I think, is supposed to be all right. And Tajikistan is supposed to be fine. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I, I, I seem to think it's Tajikistan that's the corrupt one. Corrupt. Uh, for, yeah, is mega corrupt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 sorry, it's Tajikistan, which is more like North Korea. Um, oh. and Turkmenistan is more normal. Oh, okay. Same as as Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan and stuff. Like I looked at going there with I, I spoke to CJ about it um, back in May. I, I'm going to see him again soon in in June. So um, mm -hmm. at, at Bristol or before Bristol Craft Beer Festival, we can have yeah. a chat about stuff. Yeah, but yeah, I'd quite like. I need to brush up my Russian again. Let like, try and get some of that. Oh, mate. Well, was when I was reading that can of uh, the Kunin yesterday, I was like, oh, I can't read anything of this. Mm. Speaking was, of was, uh, Russian beer, by the way, just noticed because I was still looking for that booms machine here. Uh, big Russian drop here in the Netherlands. Oh, lots of AF brew just beer dome? Uh, dropped. Yep, lots beer of dome? AF brew. Oh, and also, yeah, yeah, beer dome. Lots of Puhasta as well. Hmm. Are a beer dome exporting to UK yet? I don't think they are. Let me just quickly check. I'll just fire through some comments because you know what I'm like. Mm. Uh, so Dawar saying, yeah, that's true. I might like that, absolutely. Um, if I'm correct, the Netherlands was under the Spanish, uh, the Spanish after and after under the Austrian before the rebellion, maybe my history is a bit confused. I think, yeah, the Dutch has been, the Dutch has been under the Haps. No, the Habsburgs were German, weren't they? I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have, oh, also got, I have no idea. I suck we've, at my own history when it comes to that. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, we've got Christoph as well. Christoph, if you want to join, uh, drop me a message on Facebook and I'll send you the link. 
Christoph's a very nice guy. I need to. I, I want. I want to go and do an out and about video with him at Wylam. I've been to the Wylam place before. I'd love to go and do an out and about video with Christoph in Wylam and visit a few of the other. There's two or three other tap rooms now in Newcastle that weren't open when I was in uh, mm -hmm. when I was in Durham. So, yeah, it'd be cool to do some out and about filmings with Christoph. Absolutely. Out and about. Uh, out and about. Aye. Out and about. And, uh, we've got you. Two seconds, mm -hmm. two seconds. Um, Harry? Yeah. Beardome does not uh, ship to UK. Sorry. How dare they? Well, you know, how dare, how, dare, how dare you for being such stupid idiots and getting the fuck out? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it happened. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's funny how I can still ship stuff to Sweden and have stuff sent from Germany, but then beer, oh, no, can't do that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the taxes thing, isn't it? That's the entire problem. It's just I mean, it's bit, yeah. offici officially, officially, you can't send beer to America either. Well, you can, but you have to pay the taxes. Mm. Mm. Just pay That's why you just mark it as hot sauce. I'll happily just pay the taxes. Just let mm. me pay the tax and I, I, to get Russian beer. I'll happily do it. But mm. obviously, no, that's fine. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll see what I can do for you at some point, okay? I, I, know, I know that... Um, thank you, honey. I, I know that oh, there was one shop uh, Beer Republic or something? Yeah. They're, they're shipping to UK. But like well, they, only, in, only in small quantities. From what I've Yeah. Heard. And I do think that Beer Republic is from the Netherlands. Yeah. I don't think... Mm. Uh, I wonder why it is... That, was the damn person. Yeah. I wonder why it is that the Dutch beer shops get so much random stuff, basically. Because we're awesome. Yeah. yeah. They're all, they're all sexy and generic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that sexy, apparently, but... You are. <laughs> yeah, you're my person. Sexy enough for me, honey. I know you are. I know I am. I know we are. <laughs> Waldo is... Waldo is yeah, oh. Sorry, you always saying, I've got the bum machine ready up to load the beer I got from you, but have still like 10 to 15 ready to upload the life of a beer tuber. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we know that. Oh. Um, Fuck yes. Going to give that wait, one a go. How do I zoom in on Hazza again? Hazza? Why is it being a dick? Zoom in. It's, no, it's, it's, it's broken. You. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do it. You, you do I'm not good with this foreign stuff. If you click on me, then you can get me on so no, 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 like that, isn't it? So, yeah, this is. I, I bought this before Cloudwater did the sellout, so um, te technically it's fine. Um, but yeah, Cloud Water and Left Handed Giant. It is a uh, a double IPA brew with, side by side with Left Handed Giant to explore each brewery's interpretation of the same base recipe. Eight percent, twelve plus one or eleven plus two, brewed in collaboration with blah, 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 blah. the malt grist water profile. Hand selected hops are the same in both, but you may find the answer isn't always thirteen. Oh fuck off. Well, that's about as um, descriptive as it's going to be. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, let's give it a go. Double IPA. Monday night. Happy days. Fair play. Fair play. Also, uh, I, I, just want to, I want to get rid of it, really. Ah. It's just sitting in the fridge, taking up space. Ah. Christoph is saying in Poland it was Polo Cocta. Oh. What's the thing? Ah. You always saying, well, I thought if I remember correct, I did like the twist they did to this style, but then again, I remember from 12 till noon. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. the Dutch could have lots of beers because they have money. <laughs> yeah, Netherlands is pretty rich. Yep. Bitch better have yep. money. Left hand giant and cloud water. Yep. And yes, the great brewery LHG. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've not had I've not had too much from left handed giant, but yeah, I mean, at the moment, I'm just trying to empty my fridge. I'm down to maybe eight Dutch beers, about eight Finnish and eight well Estonian. So I want to get those ones done, then get through the Austrian stuff, and then I feel I'm in a a good place um, in terms of, yeah, getting my fridge clear. <laughs> so, yes. Same That's here, man. I'm it's not so taking, much beer right now. Yeah, I think I'm not taking any more... Uh, beer meals and stuff until uh, well I'm going I suppose I'm going I'm going away in a month so I'm going to try and just rattle through what I've got over the next little bitty and 
yeah, then just I'm not going to publish a review a day and stuff when I'm in the States and things. I'm just going to do what I feel like because I need a break. Need a break. What do you mean you need a break? Just need I just need a little break from, you know, filming the reviews every day because I've just been, as I say, trying to get through mm. what I've got and putting a bit of pressure on myself in that sense, which I probably shouldn't be doing, but I just I want to kind of get through my Estonian stuff and my Finnish things and then the Dutch stuff as well. So um yeah. That's the that's the goal. Because then I yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I'm kind of the same. I don't I don't review every day. Mm -hmm. uh, I review mostly in the weekends. Um try not to drink so much during the week, but so much beer, so much has to be reviewed. And I'm at the point where I'm like, no, this is not healthy anymore. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm like as well. I'm like, because yeah, for me, I thought you know one bit be one beer a day, like I used to do it like that. You know, I'd maybe film two or two or three each day on the weekends, and then just another one two during mm -hmm. the week. That's what I'd like to get back to. I'd love to have just like one shelf on the fridge where you know it's a selection of stuff rather than having a fucking full fridge of stuff. You know, right? Um, but yeah, this the Hopala have sent me a bunch of time bombs here, <laughs> um, so. A few IPAs to to mm. look through and things, but I've got the thing is I've got through most of my Swedish IPAs for this month, and then the release, the Swedish local release for um, May is not such a big one. There's not there's quite a few beers that I've already had in that this month, so I'm only going to have like eighteen or something this time. So that's not bad. Um, whereas normally you could end up with like forty and things. It's just insane. Um, but yeah, I'll yeah. see. I get it. It's good. But yeah, later in the year, I think, yeah, I'll need to sort out a box with Severio. Um, and then I want to do some, po I want to get a, an Abrovarium order as well. I want to do some Abrovarium. And if beer dome end up with like a, beers from a random country like Argentina or something, then that will get done as well. Um, then I need to I need to decide, I need to see what I'm doing beyond Christmas. Actually, I need to figure that out as well. So, got until the end of the year planned. <laughs> if you have some time, no. What do you mean you're gonna? What do you mean gonna do for Christmas? Where are you gonna be? I'll be in Japan at Christmas. I think. Uh, I hope so and, for you, man. Yeah, and hopefully we can get back out to Japan, and uh, then after that, like I need to think about you know going back to work normally instead of doing the whole uh sort of part-time yeah work well mm -hmm. working working full-time on random hours and things like that but uh how do you say um studying so yeah studying finishes after uh, and study like yeah studying will finish at christmas time yeah you got some stuff planned <laughs> It's uh, back to, yeah, finish off the Swedish just now and then it's into the, you know, expanding my programming repertoire a little bit for the next few months and then, as I say, looking to go back to work full time, you know, mm. or well, norm like going back to n normal work, <laughs> if you like, so. Well, what is normal work for you? Well, that's a good, that's a good question. Cause, I mean, at the moment it was, it, before it was, you know, the whole nine to five rubbish, but then. I'm looking, as I say, to move more into kind of programming, programming type mm -hmm. thing, if we can call it that. So um, yeah, that will be uh, yeah, that will be the next thing. Will be to do something a little bit more kind of programming. But if I can get like a distance job, that would be ideal because it means I can kind of uh, go between Europe and and Japan in a sense. So that would be very nice. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, Hugh, honey bun. Hugh, hey, come, Hugh, come get on. your Hugh, get your arse on. Get your sexy northern arse. Get your bum on it. Get your bum on it. Your, your, yeah. your, your middle north British arse yeah. into gear. Yeah. Harry, check out Beer Jum from Belgium. For a call credit. Yeah. Yeah, true. Gourmet, they've got a big Russian. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just on Etrigourmet at the moment, just flicking through it. 
Mm. Um, and it's got a lot of Lurvig, a lot of Garden Brewery. Mm. I don't know what shipping is because I know... I don't know how Etre Gourmet works because I know they have a lot of things to do with like sourcing, canteen. I don't know if it works as like a shop or whether it works as like a, a second, like a proxy kind of thing. I've never really fully understood Etre Gourmet mm. at all. Mm. Yeah, interesting. Maybe Davo can explain a little bit because... Yeah. Davo's got a ridiculous knowledge. He's his... Uh... I thought you were going to say he's got a ridiculous knob. He does. Well, he does. But... That, as well, that as well, but yeah. <laughs> It's just your mind is in the gutter, you dirty Dutch boy. Um, oh, yeah, but that's just, I need to get laid. It's as simple as that. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll lay you. I know you will. I'm, I'm <laughs> but you, better, you better watch, though, at this point. He's after other things. Yeah, but, but you, better, you better watch at this point, though, Harry. That stuff will come out with high velocity, so you'll be fired across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. Boom. Oh, shit. Boom. It's come out of my mouth. <laughs> the, the Kill, said killed it, another yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and since, since they have the biggest port in Europe, they could easily find a cordon with lots of states around them. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got Jim's. I've not seen Jim's for Jim's man cave for a wee while. Nice. Yeah. I still need to review. You know, I still need to review that Cthulhu Black IPA that you gave me, Harry. And I still, I've still got the two Rams right, that, that, sitting in the fridge too. The the Rams we beers should be fine. I don't know what farmers I sent you. The farmers might be well, if I did send you a farmer's best because I was You sent me a farmer's best. I know. Mm. I just uploaded it. Uh, my farmer's just... best. I know, I saw it. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, I was just going, I was going through the bottle store the other day because we had a big big delivery. I I've basically been doing a lot, a lot of beers recently just for bottling. Um and yeah, like last uh, yeah, last month I sent to 10,000 litres off the bottling Ooh. of this one beer and we've almost run out of it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm sending I'm sending another 10,000 litres on the 11th. Uh, I brewed it. I'm brewing it this week, in fact. Um, and then I'm, spent, I'm sending 20,000 litres in total. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nuts, the amount of beer. Because it's weird how things are over here in terms of all the pubs have now reopened, but it's in, it's outside only. Um, but what we're noticing is that bottle sales haven't really changed. The bottle sales are still the same, the crazy level that they were at before. Mm-hmm. And then and then just like cask sales are now like, oh, we're going to take a Woolly Bear as well. So I'm now brewing three times a week just to try and keep up with it. And before lockdown, it was two times a week steady. Um, before the first, you know the, the original lockdown, it's a huge difference. Yeah. So yeah, we get we've gone up selling you know at least five ten thousand liters more a week because of holy lockdown. shit. So it's good. Damn, it's nice and busy. Yeah. But do yeah. you need a do you need a do you need a hand? Uh, I do. Somebody yeah. like I don't know do what around the brewery. I'll come over. I'll I'll help. That's that's fine. I I basically need someone to wash casks, fill casks, maybe do a bit of sales. Fuck it, mate. I'm fine. Whatever. I need to get the fuck out of this country. Do you, do you have a manual driving license, is the other thing I'd say. Uh, yeah, because we're Dutch. We hate Good. automatic. Good. Because that's the one thing, like, we, we've got a... My colleague, um, he learned to drive in the States, and... Uh, Basically, he's got an automatic driving license, and we're like, "You're fucking useless, mate." <laughs> we're just like, constantly like, "You're useless." I, and here's the best thing. Here's the best thing. Although I, I need to get the 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 the, the side of the road thing figured out. Uh, I used to own a Nissan Skyline, so I'm used to driving in a car that has a the, the steering wheel on the right side, right yeah. side and right side. So right yeah. side, right side. Um, no, but yeah, no. Uh, did I never tell you I used to I used to own a Skyline? You used to be yeah. a boy racer. A little bit. Real, real racer, mm. isn't it? Real, real, real. Real. I did room, room, room. You, you <laughs> can be, you can, you can be a boy racer in a in a fucking van now. Yeah, that's 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 what you can be. In a, in a, wait, you have a fucking van? In a fucking van? Oh, <laughs> the fucking van! It's I cool. still love. I still love to be on the freight trees. I, I still love the freight trees, but like drift, 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 <laughs> drift, and that little drift. van. I could probably do it. In. Uh, I haven't tried it. You know, obviously they're both front wheel drive, so um, mm-hmm. makes drifting nigh on impossible. But uh, I, I can have a go. As it should. 
That's what, yeah. <laughs> draft, draft, draft. I don't know why that. Just you just get a lot of satisfaction about that. Just when you're in a big. Because I know you're just in a big fuck off van thing. <laughs> <laughs> draft. I'm drift. I love it. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm game. I'm ca- I'm coming over. Uh, I need a. I need a. I'll, I'll, I'll sort immigration and everything, and uh, we'll yeah. figure it out. <laughs> so okay. I have to say though, I'm, I'm also I'm also planning on going to America at some point. So you know, ah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I've been by, sorting out the UK. Yeah, get a ti- get a Titanic over. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh's going to join us. Lovely. No, I've been in, in a round rampant, just lurking in the shadows. That's just how we like it, babes. Um, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> could uh, could be your send through Ireland. It's complicated like this. Um, James, will you review some Irish beers? Um, I have a guy in Scotland who imports Irish beer into Scotland. So he usually gives me, I couldn't see him this time because of the lockdown and stuff, but he would normally give me some Irish beers to review. Hmm. So, yeah, and my cousin now, he has an Irish girlfriend. And so there's another way to get some Irish beers. Absolutely. It's basically um, all via smuggling. It's all smuggling. <laughs> it's, yeah. We'll get so them past smuggle them. those ales over the border. Get the pussy dirty. People no, check the beers. That's the wrong accent. It's like, get that right, get it right under the fucking Brits' nose. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking dumb Brits. <laughs> um, but yeah, Etra works like an, uh, an on site shop online and also like proxy for special releases in Belgium, like Canty on mm. 3FB or Seeker Boxes, etc. Mm. I think we should get, I think Davor should be like a. We should get da- Davor should be like a, a Belgian beer mule. Yeah, yeah. I, see, I, I've I've got a good guy in in Birmingham who does a lot of my stuff. Like I've got some stuff saved with him at the moment, which uh, he's going to send to me probably next week. To be honest, um, I'm trying to remember what I ordered from him because it was a very long time ago. Um, uh, da, 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 da. One intense rude and from yeah one intense rude and one stringy stringer drea yeah uh, drefontaine mm. uh, the stringy was eighteen pounds and the intense rude was fifteen pounds mm. so not yeah. bad prices I mean the, no. those are basically those those are trade prices is what I've gone for. And he basically just puts it out to people because then he's just like, you know, he can bulk up on mm-hmm. his uh, on his whatever he gets for his shop and his bar. Yeah. Just want to quickly answer Severio. I just want to quickly answer Severio. Yeah. I did have a few uh, Irish craft beers actually. Um, what's Kinnegar, it called? Uh, Kinnegar. I've had some kit now. What the the White Hag is. Uh, yeah, White Hag. Irish as well, White Hag. I think Kinnegar, I think, yeah, Kinnegar. I've had Kinnegar. Um, yeah, strange. them. Oh, I've had, I've had that one. That one's, I like that one. This is really old as well. Uh, the can is the hard, I'm trying to see how hard I can get a can. It's really fucking hard. So hard. Mm. Um, That's what she said. So, it's so hard. It's best before November 2019. That's why it's really hard. Well, tr- open it now. Um, I like, I'll open no. it one day. A foreign export style. I'll open yeah. it one day. It's going to just, it, Harry's just going to come home and it's going to be black. Hi, sexy. Hi, uh, <laughs> hey, honey. Mm. Hello, hello. Oh, who had it? Yeah. What the fuck? It's going to be good with you, then. Alles goed? A bit of a little bit of a Or what are you doing? Yeah, prima, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, that was cool. That was fun. That was nice. If I just, uh, tuned, if ju- just tuned into Radio Luxembourg. <laughs> yeah, I'm suddenly impressed and slightly aroused, actually. So there you go. <laughs> no, I went to um, I went to a horticultural college, and there was a load of Dutch like um, foreigners. Coroners, following, 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 
But it's, like, they like, they like, well, it's, it's not surprising they go to the horti, uh, horticultural college. They like a bit of plant over there, usually, from what we hear. Uh, they're, not, they're not bad. <laughs> There's also a red light district. Mm. Ah, just the Netherlands. It's a lot of red light district. <laughs> I'm going to quickly grab something to drink. I'll be right back. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've just got broken uh, Ettore Gourmet and it's returned to a page that says, most of our products contain gluten and alcohol. <laughs> That's the ninety nine percent of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this yeah. the one where um, you're trying to get some Polish stuff? Or have I, have I read that? Oh, one? Yeah, I'm trying to get some Russian stuff or, or Russian any, stuff. And oh, oh, Russian beers. I do because I'm a communist, obviously. Yeah. Um, He's a fucking communist. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. there's, only, there's only one. There's only one uh, Labour voting scum and bearded lefty wanker. Don't worry. Oh yeah, also, uh, yeah. I've got that covered. Got the beard. Here's one for here's one for you, Hugh. Go to Poland this year and get some Polish craft beers. Certainly am. Yeah. Now yeah. I can bring back. Oh, somebody told me. I think I can bring back something like forty liters or something. Oh. So. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Ah, that's, that's, that's in two baggy boxes. That's eight. Well, in Poland, that's eighty <laughs> bottles because it's always the half liter things, and you get them for oh, like yeah. the equivalent of like two pounds or something. You get this. You get like a. I still remember being in Warsaw, and there was this. Um, there was this tap room, right in the centre, in the new like with all these the new sort of glass metally buildings and stuff. It had like forty taps behind the bar. I bought a round of like four beers there, and it came to like ten quid, and it was like. I don't know if it was 400s or half litres, I honestly forget, but it was like four imperial milk stouts that were like 10% or something. It was like 10 quid. You're like, fuck <laughs> sake. It's like, that's like one beer. That's like one beer in Sweden. It's, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just insane. I don't, know how you, I don't know how you do it, to be honest, because, I mean, you're not, you're not on a Swedish seller at the moment, are you? Uh, not at the moment, but you know, Istanbul. I, I don't really go and drink in pubs, to be honest with you. I no. I don't really go out and and drink in pubs because I've got I, I kind of outside of the YouTube channel. I very rarely drink these days. It's only if I go to Malmo Brewing or one of the you know one of the brewing yeah. tap rooms or something. Um, so yeah, but Istanbul like, it's actually cheap. It's cheaper for me to get like a Stigberiets or an OO here. I mean, I pay. 45 Swedish kroners, so that's like four pounds yeah. for a can of that. Whereas, in you, you guys will pay like six pounds or something. Oh, over there. and then, and then yeah. Greg shit all over that as well. Oh, mm. Yeah, you got that. No, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to getting some cheapies in Poland, most certainly. Mm. Um, we'll try and try and throw around as much as possible. Yeah, where, where have you been, from, Jim? Sorry. Where have you been in Poland? Uh, Warsaw, and we went to Auschwitz with school as well, Oswiecim. Um, so, you know, it's, I was only in Poland a little bit, but um, like I was saying to you, Hugh, very close to me, um, we, there's a little small airport at Malma, and you can fly there for, like, stupid cheap. So if you do fancy a little visit, then... Uh, feel free to pop up it's it's i remember when i went to poland it was more expensive to get the bus from lund to the airport than it was to get the flight over to warsaw <laughs> oh it was like 250 kroners mm. so about 25 euros for the bus return to go there but then the flight was like 20 euros or something return it's mental oh, mental it is it? i'm miss big um i just wanted to share that i'm um not getting it through beer down because um i just found the link there i was browsing it i'm getting this beer somewhere this week i believe it's a uh czech style lager mm. which i'm very psyched about and it's one mm. of the it's one of the, the big signs just really needed to get out of them we're here in the netherlands we're finally starting to appreciate lager again like real mm. proper pilsners and lagers yeah there's been that's yeah. been going on for a wee while and in Sweden, over the last maybe year, eighteen months, there's been quite a few laggers and some really Sweet. nice, like that yeah. that Hulia one that I sent that I that I brought down for you guys was beautiful. I love that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that over to Matt and Paul in the states and give them that to review and 
I need to that's I need to start buying a few beers for Matt and Paul actually at some stage. But when, the, when, the, when are you going over, Jim? When are you going? Seventh seventh of June. If if that's the okay. travel ban is list if it's lifted, so because mm. and my friend's getting married on the third of July, but I've made a plan up until then, and then after that wedding, I go down to Texas and do a few things. So that's awesome. So. Should yeah. be quite nice. I'm look at looking at going to Belarus in August. Oh, you? Yeah. I'll keep us in the loop, mate. I will do. Yeah. Oh, that could be an. Oh, I've got. I've, oh, I need. I've got exams in August. And oh. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's like late. I, I can either go late August or May next year. Mm. And I'll, pro I'll probably try and do both. But if you, if you go, if you go in May, definitely let me know because I'll only be however long from the border. Yeah. Although, oh no, because foreigners can't cross the Polish border, can they? That's the problem. So I'd still have to fly to Mint. <laughs> um because it's Belarus and it's mad. But no. mm. uh, ne never been, but I am gonna go on a group tour just so I can get my find my feet really. Oh it's it's mad, mate. It's mad. I love it. Mm. Um I only went to Mint and and my favourite part of Mint, I, I must have told you this, was um I was walking to my hostel, got the bus down into Mint, which was an epic voyage by itself because it's Malta. Got got into mm -hmm. Mint, walked down to me uh, to my hostel. There was this massive, and I mean massive, Soviet uh, workers monument, and mm -hmm. then like underneath, there was a KFC under it. <laughs> <laughs> Who puts a KFC under a workers monument? Like, I was look at shit. Lukashenko, obviously. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Right. Chicken or a bloody Soviet hat? <laughs> yeah. well, bit, of both. Have... bit of both. Have them both. Yeah, yeah it will. Communism equals chicken, obviously. Lenin FC. Lenin FC. I like that. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, and I, I, that's that's one thing we need to go. I think we maybe need to come and visit you in Poland, uh, Hugh, and do have some uh, mm -hmm. some filming. Yeah. Maybe a wee Warsaw trip could be fun. And Warsaw's good for me, yeah. Krakow would be cool as well. But I mean, there's quite a few, quite a few of the cities in Poland. There's a huge beer scene over there and things. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. there's lots of things that you can I'll do, very, like sure. Vods, Woods, and yeah, Szczecin and all of these kind of places. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, I have land. If you any if you, uh, if, if you done Abkhazia before, because that's definitely next year's. Oh, I wanted to. No, that was a nightmare. Um, I can I, I, I can sort it here. If you if if you come on a my my well my brother can sort it more more so. Um, because that has been the plan for a long time. Like I, I spoke to him a couple of weeks back. I was like. So I'd love to go to North Korea again, but it's looking ever increasingly unlikely that we'll be able to go back there. So the problem I mean, is um, Georgia is um, very particular uh, COVID-wise because um, they're only letting people in with with two two jabs, and you still have to self isolate if you've been in the UK. Yeah. Um, and whatever else. Oh, it'll be next year before I go. Well, yeah. So if if it's opened up, then yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. Cause, um I've always kicked myself for not getting to Abkhazia before the COVID. Kicked <laughs> yeah, um, I'd love to go and see Georgia as well. I'd love to see Georgia. Oh, Opera, yeah. mate, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm. I mean, again, I I only just got out of Tbilisi. I I I went to. Uh, Mukshetta, which is like the old capital that were amazing, up in the mountains, and you saw everything. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Gori, which is where Stalin was born. And mm. like weird shrines to Stalin, which was just another madness. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, it's amazing. And lovely people, the most amazing people, and the food as well. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's not nuts, but Abhazi is just, I think it's just steamrolled, basically. There's book all there, but it's just. <laughs> It's, it's, it's what my my brother told me is basically you get you get the flight into Georgia you get a bus and you have to walk over the border because it's a minefield. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a full minefield there. Yeah, you um, yeah. I, I looked at it. You'd have to you have to go into um, Mestia, which is in the very top in the mountains. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and then you go from Mestia to Okum. Um, by uh, whatever um, little bus you get, 
and then you have to walk over the border and then you've got the uh, Georgian border, the Russian border, and then the Apaz border, and then you've got to get into the centre, and that's that's apparently two buses. Um, yes, I'm up for it. I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's meant, it's meant to be a, it's meant to be a trial, but when you're there, it's, it's just um, it's frozen in time, isn't it? You know, it's, yeah. it's it's not moved on since the night. I, I can walk around with my hat on. I think that's the one. That's the one place you're probably good, to be honest. Right? Yeah, I mean the one place as well. Have you looked at Tran uh, Transnistria? Yeah, that's I've looked at Transnistria before. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's not quite as as demanding as Abkhazia because mm -hmm. I mean Abkhazia is a war waiting to happen. Transnistria yeah. is a bit more stable. I've seen I've seen Moldova, isn't it? Yeah, Moldova and Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's that's quite sort of Cold War esque as well when you get in there, and yeah. um, again, it's it's corrupt, it's weird, it's it's yeah, it's it's a weird place. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Now, getting very very, I remember found a bar and just got very very drunk with some soldiers in Transnistria. Mm -hmm. It was just the weirdest yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> And the weirdest thing that can happen, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I presume they're still on duty because they were in clothes and stuff, and it just came in at like oh, yeah. in the afternoon. And I was like, I, I, one of the guys who comes is he um, and does our boilers and does all the training courses, Steve. Yeah. He is ex uh, British Navy, okay. and he was on, um, he was on uh, nuclear submarines and he was basically saying he's been doing boiler courses all across Europe and, and basically trying to sell I say boiler boiler course big fuck off boilers big yeah. industrial boilers and stuff like that and um, he said like when he was out in Ukraine he said all they were interested in doing was just fucking drinking shots first thing in the morning have a few shots and then they go to work and, and he was like yeah you know you have to be ready for work and anything that can, could go wrong because it, 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 all these years in the Navy didn't drink very much at all and he's like you have to be ready for work and and, and he's like they're always insistent on having a beer before they start work i was like that's why you work in a brewery and it's <laughs> kind of the same yeah and the also good, the distillery as well the only good thing about working in social care is as opposed to pubs uh, my drinking has definitely gone down because yeah. actually i can't drink whereas pubs i contractually had to drink yeah effectively. Yeah, it, it, it's. I, th I think where I'm now is it's not because I'm not in a pub. It's the drinking culture isn't there like yeah. it was when I was in a pub. Um, but you know, obviously, you, you still have to ch check the beer and try the beer. But when you're when you're distillery, you have to constantly take little yeah. uh, tastes on, on just like a droplet or something. But it's like eighty fucking ninety percent <laughs> when you're trying it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But you I'll, know, you, you still going to work you, for you. <laughs> that's all right, honey. I'm, right. I'm gonna work for you. Yeah, yeah. You, you can go and w walk into that room, just take a nip, and, and just walk back out, and no one cares. Oh, yeah. Yay! But yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, is a... do you do on the distilling side? Do you do fifty-fifty? Um, I well, what I do uh, at the moment, obviously nothing because it's uh, our milling machine is. Well, we can't do anything in distillery because because of the fire, but yeah. we can do brewery side. Because um, I'm now just running off 25 kilo bags, which is a nightmare. Um, At least but... not them by hand, though. Oh, I do. You well, do. I, I have to lift them in, in by hand into not into the into the into the mash tun, but into like an auger, which takes them up into a hopper, and then I just press a button. And oh, I, is, I... Is, is is your is your thingy fucked as well? So, like all of our milling, all so um, it, our milling room is fucked. Um, that all set on fire. The milling room set on fire. All the barley bins set on fire. Um, um, so that's all gone. So now what we did is we got barley from Warminster, or we use Warminster because it's just down the road. Yeah. But we sent our grain off to them, and then they malted and and then milled our barley yeah. and sent it um, sent it crushed. But they sent it, and this annoyed me with the last malt I got from them. It was too finely crushed, so it's blocking up on the mash oh, sheet all the time. Was it like a really bad mash bed? Like, sort of the, water just the, the, the mash bed's mash bed's fine because 
the, the, the thing is when I'm when I'm mashing in, I've got like this chute which yeah. uh, the grain comes in at the top and the water sprays it at the same time and it then it drops oh, down oh, into the middle. And because the, be, and, and because it's too fine, it's constantly yeah. fucking clogging it. So oh. I have to I have to put I have to put it on a really low speed setting on the grain on low speed setting and water on almost maximum. I end up with having wetter mashes than I used to. Um, but my efficiency's gone up, but also then the time taken doing mashing. Mashing used to take like half an hour, now it's taken 45 minutes an hour. Yeah. Um, because I'm on lower speed setting. But it's what it is. I've only got like another 20 tons of that to get through, which will be about 19 more brews. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Whoopee. Whoopee. <laughs> Four weeks. So, yeah, it's all right. Lovely. Yeah. You'll get through it though. You, you, you're putting out some beer now. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're doing fifteen thousand a week, liters. Okay, no. It's 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 big old capacity at the moment. It's nice. It's nice. I I'm, just, just, I can't, I'm not looking forward to next realized. one. While you were while you were explaining everything that's going on for you at work, I was listening. I was sort of I have this zoned out thing on my face. James looked constipated as hell. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's really I, just focusing on the jobby. I'm sitting looking the, at I'm sitting looking at beer dome in all the different countries and stuff that's there. In in he's the farmer's best. Yes, he does. Right up the best. Speaking of top top farmers, five. Oh, K. Yorkshire. Oh, Bradfield. Yeah, Bradfield. Yeah. Farmers five k. Never had it. No. I looked at. Don't. <laughs> I looked at um, Daleside again. They sent me an email today. Oh, they uh, sent sending me emails, yeah. And I was like, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Can I, can I send cash in the post <laughs> <laughs> for this? Because I've, I've literally got like, I, I was supposed to be paying for a, a plumber in cash, and that's what we agreed. So I basically took all the that's money not how you my pay, That's not how you pay a plumber. That is. That's how I pay my plumbers. <laughs> oh, okay. well, that's um, that's new and intriguing. <laughs> and uh, and then so I took all the money out in cash, and then and he goes, "Oh no, what, I want payment back." So I'm like, "Ah, oh, well, <laughs> I can't do that. I literally can't do that um, because I need to get back. I need to have like a morning off to get back to a bank, but I can't afford to do it at work at the moment. So oh. maybe tomorrow I might get a chance to put it all back." But I was like. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been a bit tricky. Do you, do, do you take cash payments everywhere? No. no, um, no. I know my bank does because um, it's it's like one of these travel cards almost. I can mm. go to the post office and uh, give, and yeah. give them a wad of money and give me a card and they'll put it on it. Um, yeah, mine, mine's Barclays. Yeah, I don't so, uh, start like shit. Yeah. No, I, I was with Barclays for a bit, and then um, when I went travelling, I thought, fuck that, because they charge X amount on your card. So. I've, I've got a transfer wise for travelling abroad. Yeah. Um, I, use, I use one of them. That's what just, I use as well, the green card, yeah. Yeah, I just move any sum into that for a bit of time and then spend that. It's the way to do it. It's the way to do it. Yeah. So one thing that's annoying in the Netherlands, though, I remember there was nowhere took card. He was so pissed off. That's like it's the Netherlands. It's meant to be a fucking modern country. Oh, he was so pissed <laughs> off. Germany is. Hmm? They don't. They don't do card in in in, in the Netherlands, in in in, in Germany, in France. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, Japan no, no, as well. I need, to, I, need to, I need to correct you. I need to correct you there. I need to correct you. Oh, there. Right. Um, James is talking about credit cards. Yeah. Now the Netherlands is all about the debit cards because we're uh, actually kind of, we're actually kind of clever and we like to make sure we don't get in debt too much. You know, we're not American. Hard, hard currency. Yeah, I just know. You're, 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 you're like an African I've used country. A bank card. <laughs> yeah, but for some weird reason, <clears throat> um, credit cards here is not something that you see a lot. And James's credit card didn't work, but his debit card for some reason also didn't. Mm. Uh, but. Cash is a dying thing in the Netherlands. Now, Germany, on the other hand, 
um, which is interesting, by the way. Germany is seeing the light now thanks to COVID. Germany is very much a cash-based country. They hardly use yeah. uh, the cards there. This is true. However, because of the entire idea of not having too much co contact during COVID, they started promoting uh, using uh, your card more which people are. So it's curious to see if after COVID, Germany is going to revert back to a cash society or if they're going to go start using their debit cards more as well. But probably it will be mostly uh, debit cards because, again, we don't really use credit cards that much. It's, it's a very unique thing for, uh, for us. From what I understood in Germany, though, the govern the, a lot of the private companies, they charge like the... the, the the company that you buy stuff from to use these mm -hmm. services. The government, I mean, I know that in Sweden, the government just outlawed that. They said, nah, I'm not ah, doing this. Me. That's the second part to that. Um, Germany has a very, very um, shitty... Very um, yeah. No, 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 no. It has a very shitty uh, infrastructure when it comes to uh, internet and uh, mm -hmm. things like that. So when you need to use a debit card, you need to use a, a phone line for some of these companies. So that means that every time that you use the card, you have to pay a little bit of money to make the connection. Now, here in the Netherlands, basically, we have a uh, cable like ADSL. Uh, what, ADSL what's it called? The uh, constant internet thing. I don't know what the English term is. Like, you're, you're constantly connected. No more dial-up, shit like that. But there's actually there's actually places in Germany where the internet is so bad. Uh, I, have, I know somebody in Germany. She's a teacher. There are kids that could not participate in online teaching because they don't have internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or internet is the internet infrastructure in Germany sucks. So this is one of the reasons why cards aren't used that much. These companies would have to pay a lot of money for phone bills for continuously having people using cards if they don't have a stable open internet connection that runs the data for it. So uh, uh, up until like maybe. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, here in the Netherlands, many companies would have this uh, charge for using your card. If you paid under 15 euros and you wanted to use your card, you'd have to pay 10 cents, 15 cents for the services of using the, uh, the ATM. Uh, not the ATM, the, 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 the card. So there you go. That's a bit shy. <laughs> it is. It's Hmm? I was trying to up my duct again, but I don't think it worked. I was no, I didn't hear. What, what did you say? Slecht. Is that bad? Slecht. 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 Uh, uh, slecht. Heel slecht. Really <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I like the entertainment. Davor is saying he's got land and labor from Ireland and his father. I've never heard of them, actually, land and labor. Mm. They're meant to be amazing. I've, I've mm. heard a few things about them. Let's have a little look at them, I guess. Yo, <laughs> yeah. What's up, Necro? And uh, speaking of Czech beer, if someone has the possibility to try the Pirazer beers. Let's yeah, see. I'd be keen to try that. Pirazer. Let's have a little look at this. Never heard of them. Pirazer. Razor untapped. Razor, razor. Oh, it's from uh, it's a German one. I thought he was talking about Czechs. <coughs> Pip razors. Thermassing. Yeah, I'd be keen. Yeah, I'd be keen for that. I'm always keen to try different German stuff. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's good. Here's an interest. Uh, an interesting thing I was thinking about recently. Um, I don't know how it is in England and the Netherlands in terms of sours, but you know how we're getting all these big, you know, creamy gozes, Berliner Weisses, yeah, yeah. stuff like mm. this. Um, you've got Vault City, for example. Vault City like to put hops in these kind of beers, and I think it gives the beer like a little bit more kind of depth of flavour, if you like. But um, you have in in Scandinavia quite a few of the breweries don't put hops in them. They don't put hops in these things. So mm. what do you think about that? Do you think the hops are necessary in these kind of Goza, Berlina Weisse things? Oh, okay. Well, because all your IBUs, they come from the from the um, culture you use anyway. Well, I, I, I really know that. Oh. 
I don't know very much about sour beers. Oh, hey, pal. Hi, hey, pal. Hello. Hello. How is it going? Hello. I'm very good. I'm keeping all of the uh, sparklers tight. Things are going good. Yeah, we are doing well. We are doing well. <laughs> Just, yeah. yeah. I'm chill. Keep all the sparklers tight. I'm still enjoying your weird face, your weird kind of face switch and pictures that you're doing, Paul. I enjoy my weird face on many things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have one uh, already ready for May the 4th with uh, Princess Leia, so it's going to go oh. well. God, that should, <laughs> be, a, that should be good. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. And, and, and once again, I would. So. Oh, there yes. Leia. Yeah. Even with a pool face. Mm -hmm. more, more so with a pool face. I was about to say more so. Mm. Yeah, if it's got a fall face, it's definitely going to take it in the ass. So I think oh, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right there. Yeah. So back to, uh, what, back to, you know, adult conversations. Well, <laughs> uh, I was Old always, I was always under the adult. assumption, I, didn't, I don't know this, but I was always under the assumption, like, you know, beer without hops, we, we like considered like a gruit. Is, would that be considered a gruit without hops? Or? Well, if you if you use the herbs to, 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 to both flavor the beer, give it the bitterness and everything, you need the group. Group meat doesn't necessarily mean, well, of course, it doesn't have hops, but it means you use something else for the uh, aromas. Yeah, okay. And that's what, like, that's what uh, the group thing is. Like yeah. uh, Norway, they use lingonberries and stuff. But mm. before they eat hops, for example. You know, things like that. Okay. Mm. Lingonberries oh. are tart as fuck. They're they like are. crazy. Those things. Yeah. I've, had, I've had like some in in some Michela beers. Um, some answer, uh, yeah, Michela beers. I've had some lingonberry beers, and they've been oh, really, really tart. Pogel mm. did a um, Pogel did a did a lingonberry goes, mm. and that was that was really puckering. Really, mm. really, really strong. Now, I didn't, I didn't think about lingonberries being like a that tart, to be honest. But yeah, because I just, I think of IQ, the lingonberry jam that you put on your stuff, and it's like, mm. it's like cranberry sauce. But no, um, but yeah, I think sours, sours is is not so much about the bitterness; it's about how dry and low gravity it is as well, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's it's low, low gravity, and then you've used secondary fermentation to recarbonate it. Mm. That's typically the way, um, and also the acidity. Yeah, the, yeah. just the, the initial acidity of the beer tends to be a lot lower. Um, I, to be honest, I, I must say I don't really know. I haven't really explored um, sour beers because I'm a real ale brewer. Real hell for real men. British um, ales for British people. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to say, this is a British ale for British people, and it's absolute dog shy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you would have you would, you would have liked this, though, for you. That one. But. I can't see. I haven't got my glasses on. But. Is it? It's an organic bitter. Butts. <laughs> It's but, called what's. Oh, oh, I can see oh, it. What a beautiful label! It is a nice label. Printed it's... on the bottle as well. Yeah, mm. that's nice, yeah. isn't it? So Sexy. they're local. They're, they're local. Well, localish. They're over in kind of North Hungerford, which they call Great Shefford, but it's not really quite Great Shefford. Um, but yes, Barbus Barbus is what it's called. Four point six percent bitter. There you go. It's nice. It's all right. Is that, is that Waitrose, uh... Yeah, Waitrose one. Waitrose job. You'll get some corkers if you Waitrose, you. Um I'd love to I'd love to find uh some of some lightning on um on Yeah. You're alright. You got some nice stuff. Some of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Oh, just, just... Sorry, Severi is saying in Italy we were trying to promote the use of debit and credit card by a cash back or a lottery lots of Italian people still using cash for everything yeah, I wonder why I understand hmm. yeah. well, Adam's turn has just opened a stout from Porterhouse I know it's 5% but I've had miles thicker Adam get in and join us come in and join us come in love come in come in Under... you northern fuck that's what she said <laughs> 
I, mean, is. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I've been binge watching The Office, so that's stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Bless you. Under 25 euros, we don't pay anything for using debt or credit card. Over that is one euro for the set. That's an interest. We usually it's the, the, the low amounts they try and make you mm. pay for. So yeah. they just took that away from most of our stuff. It used to be like, you know, five or ten bucks minimum, but now they don't have minimums, it seems. I mm, think they no. probably do, but it's gotta be like three bucks under. Mm. Everything's free here when it comes to using cards. I if I wanted to buy like a freaking box of mushrooms that is 79 cents i can use my card no problem well you know and the, the company does get charged for using that service that the, the company gets charged by the credit card provider uh, no paul we don't do credit cards here in the netherlands we're more sophisticated ah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get in debt we actually you know like to make sure we have healthy financial situations mm. yay debt <laughs> Yay, death. <laughs> I'm at that horrible part. I don't like where I'm at right now because there's a lot of people who like um, cards and I like cash in hand. Yeah, I like, like a debt. Yeah. A lot of where, yeah. where I live, uh, depending on where you go, especially up in the woods and backwoods and stuff, there's like there's places, there are nice places to go, but they don't accept uh, any kind of card at all, credit card or anything. So they have to have yeah. cash. Well, see, but that's right that's now, what we I yeah have we no were cash in my pocket, but I have a mm. credit card. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, god damn it! There you go. Yeah, you can a little bit fucked that way. I know what you mean. Mm. Now we um we we just had this discussion uh, before you jumped uh, on, but we do debit cards here in the Netherlands, and credit cards are sort of in the last year or two, some people have been starting to use them a little bit, but mostly it's all debit cards. Yeah, we have and debit cards here too. Yeah, but basically, if you go to a market stall, like you can already use a debit card. It's everywhere. It's everywhere, and then I, we've had collectors coming by the door, and you, you, how you usually say, like, I don't have any cash. They're like, Oh, that's fine. You can use your card. Hmm. We're we're funny that way. I just look through. I'm looking through the Etre Gourmet, and there are some beautiful beers on there at the moment. Etra Gourmet, oh, oh. yeah. Oh, oh, me, it's payday for me next week. What? What is it? Etra Gourmet. Etra uh, I'll send you a link, mate. Thank you. A... I'm just really falling in love with you and his accent, by the way. Just <laughs> Ooh, and the beard, yeah, and the beard. We're gonna get a sticky beard here soon. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that's some that's some salty goza. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> a little bit of that. Oh, Doppelbox. Scotch Ales and Wee Heavies. Having a little look at this uh, Etra Gourmet. Mm, Scotch Ales. I'm going to go check it out as well. It's, uh, they've got a Buxton one. It's fine. I'm just looking at the Russian beers. That's all I'm interested in. Ooh, how, do you get, how do you get countries on uh, Etra Gourmet? How do you get that? No, I've, I've literally gone... Uh, Can you start? Because after, after uh, Davor said that Etra Gourmet, I've just gone, they added newest to oldest. I am not. Shit, shit tons of Russian stuff comes up. <laughs> so not only not only are Drie Fontaine beers expensive, their glassware is apparently as well. I'm not paying 10 euros for a fucking glass. Much? Yeah, um, <laughs> Seriously, 20, 20 euros for a three font for three fontaine glass. What? Because it's got the three fontaine logo on it. What the fuck? It's fine. I can I can I can nick one for less. There you go. Yeah, feeling them is much cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> What's this? Um... Bordelette Poire de Glace. I don't know what that is. Zepov, Zepo, Zepov, Dnik, Gypsy Boy. I like the sound of that. Wild yeast fermented dry cider. Yes, please. Mm. Do they send to yeah. yeah. oh. Apparently they do, yeah. Apple cider. Oh, yeah, it looks like a fucking cider, you can tell. They've so, got yeah. some decent prices as well. Remember mm. those uh, sirens that you sent me, Harry? 
Um, they're not on there, I don't think. Yeah, they're, they're on Etre Gourmet. Uh, Are they? Etre Gourmet, they, yeah. Be, be, Beerisgourmet.be. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. 12, they, 12, 12, 12 euros 40 for a bottle. Yeah, it was £30 for the three that I paid. Yeah, but I mean, like I'm saying, for Dutch prices yeah. or oh, yeah. European prices, that is not bad. I gotta find a European based uh, distributor that ships to America. I gotta mm. find one of those. It's, it's oh, called Adam. Oh, I said that. <laughs> got Adam. That could be <laughs> Adam. 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 I, just, I, I wonder if it's over seventy-five dollars, I get free shipping. So you know, I don't know about that. Huh? Not for tea. I've just put a few things in the basket. It's come to one hundred and sixteen euros. Oh <laughs> no! It's all right for these millionaire brewers, eh? That's us. That's us, millionaire brewers. Fuck you! You're not literally already. Uh, well, I put I put sorry I put a case of four beers in the the Le Malpalon. Cyclic Montegard Yeast Trio. It just sounded good. Uh, two Lambics, uh, a Phantom Beer, two Zagors, uh, Velkmarava, two, uh, three Double A, and then the Zappo Danique uh, Gypsy Boy Apple Monster Cider, just because the name is awful. Just quickly, by the way, you just said Phantom, right? Yeah. You you do know that you need to be careful opening that one, right? Oh no, I I know I've had loads okay. of Phantom before. Okay, uh, good. One one of uh, one of my pals was the former brewer for Phantom. Oh, really? Not Tom, not not, not, Tom, not Danny. Thomas, the millionaire James. brewer is talking right now. Do not interrupt the millionaire brewer. Million, yeah, millionaire true. brewer speaking. <laughs> Pyramid scheme. Join the breweries. Um, rise oh dear God in heaven. Um, I've had loads of Phantom. I put them in my Cheerios in the morning, you peasant. <laughs> I, I drink it every day. Um, it's just I've like Fanta drinking, for me. I've been drinking oh. it since 1972. <laughs> my friends who work at the Strasbourg. Fucking hell is going on here. It's, it's a gree, uh, you, you get some grease spoon down you. Have you got any gouges? Gouges, mate. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, Grease and gouges. Cheers from the from Orange County, what? California. What is going? Did, did they have any? Did they have any gouges? It, not in Orange County, in it. That's you can't no. you can't get there with a ferry. So there's no point going, in it. Yeah, you, orange, the, orange pile elves. Hugh, yeah. they're just having a little moment in between the two of them. Just let them have it and okay. let them have it out of the system <laughs> for the next ten minutes. Then we're fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, and then it's rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat in about an hour. Yeah, this is one of us. It's like Tourette's. It's like one one person sets off the other. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, it's a lovely day in PA. As I, I want to live stream and drive, and then I'll get you all that later. It's not professional. It's not a professional yeah. thing to do. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> are you are You're you forward. are you You're live forward. streaming and driving? That's not a good thing to do. That's not professional, Paul. I've got oh, a little folder. Oh, it's my phone. Oh, yeah. I'm on the road, slut. Oh, by the way, Paul. <laughs> by the way, Paul. Just to give you a rough idea, I forgot to message you. Um, yeah. in terms of my visit to you, um, yeah. assuming Biden lifts the travel ban. Yeah. Would sometime between like the twenty fifth, twenty sixth, and like the thirtieth of June work for you? Yep. Sweet. As long as you, Done. as long as you work for Paul, then all yep. will be fine. I want to film yeah, in Paul's dungeon. Yeah, I got, working. I got time to take off, so I'm good. All right, sweet. That's going to be awesome. So that yeah, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking roughly around then. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I don't know about Biden. I don't know about his horseshit policies and if he's going to lift this or lift that because I didn't know. I really don't know what restrictions are in place right now because I wasn't trying to travel outside the country until next year, so I'm not sure. Um, and keep me updated. You know, if it falls through, we'll do it later. But, you know, I, uh, I'm going to try to come next year to you guys. So, yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
But uh, uh, yeah, no, it's just, just to give you an idea. Sorry? Bum touching will happen one way or another. We'll figure exactly. it out. Exactly. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, by the way, Paul, are Victory Brewing still going? Victory Brewing are still going in Downington, Pennsylvania on Route 30. They are still <laughs> performing. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I need you, I'll need you to pick me out some PA brews, and I'll try and get you some. What kind of beers would you like from Sweden and Denmark? I would like high ABV Imperial Stouts, bourbon barrel aged, and barley wines. I why would you ask that question? <laughs> I was thinking it's that. Just, it's, all, it's, it's, all. Like, it's like can I have the strongest of the strong? Yeah. See what we can, bourbon barrel aging. See what we and can do. Just, we can get still some it. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see if we can get you some um, nerd and some steel. Uh, in particular, uh, would be uh, Eskilstuna. I've never had them yet. Eskils tuna. Oh, I can get you. I can sure yeah. get you some of that. But they don't have big stouts yeah. and shit. I haven't had any Eskils tuna yet. Uh, I have Lurdvig, but I've only had Lurdvigs in um, collaborations. Uh, hmm. Are they Norwegian or Swedish? I can't. They're remember. Norway. They're from Stavanger. Okay, Norwegian. Oh, Eskils tuna for sure is something I've been looking for. Let me see what I can get you on system system. Yeah, because I'll see if I can get you some some uh, Stieg Beriets and a few other kind of bits and bobs and yeah. Oh yeah, anything like traditional nor you know it's traditional uh, Swedish stuff like that. It's all good, man. I I appreciate anything you bring me. It's not a big deal. And I'll hit you up with a lot of. We'll, we're gonna we're not just, we're not just gonna get PA brews if you come over. We're gonna drive all around PA and hit all the PA brews. No oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and you'll get bummed at the same time. And yeah, bums at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Paul, there's not a lot in. I'm just looking on Systema. There's not a lot from... Uh, oh, I could maybe get you... Uh, what percentage is this? Session. Yeah. Uh, there's a Winter Imperial Porter. Uh, from, Sig from Sigtuna. And that is... Doesn't say. Why does it not say what alcohol it is? Oh, it's eight percent. That's session for Paul. That's a, ah, that's a, yeah, that's sucks. that's alcohol free for Paul. Yeah, yeah right. But well, that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna go in down to this dark valley and, and have sex with a witch or something. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you. Enjoy, honey. <laughs> bye bye, talk to you, Paul. Love bye. you, boy. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> 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 <sighs> yeah, I need to have a look. <laughs> oh, there's 285 Imperial Stouts that we can get for Paul. What, on Etrigal, mate? No, on, uh, no, no, on, uh, <laughs> what you call it? Systembol, I get. Yeah, no, I can pick up, oh, I can get a good bunch of stuff here for Paul. Why not? Get them all. I'll, I'll take them out, some uh, some Swedish stuff. That would be ideal. I think if you get them, get them all, pour them into an IBC... And then just ship it to Paul. <laughs> just put and it in a tank. Well, it's basically a tank of it. It's an IBC. And then you mm. can just keep on pouring. And just cuvee, cuvee. It's like the fucking cuvee tap. <laughs> cuvee. Close it. Oh, yeah. Cuvee. Cu yeah. <laughs> you get it. Cuvee. Yeah, yeah, drink that. Yeah. Oh, I've got, a good, I've got a good few things here that I could get, Paul. I'm just looking at it, yeah. Mm, some very nice ones. Oh, there's a few here that I've never seen, actually. I should go into these lists and look a little bit more in depth often, more often. Mm. But yeah, I see quite a few things that I could pick up for Paul and give him some um, some interesting things. Yeah. You should. In the meantime, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I think maybe what we can Here's... do, maybe at, this, maybe at this point, it's a time, it's a good time to sort of take off the... Oh, I suppose maybe we can go a little bit longer... Um, maybe go to midnight my time. Maybe another forty minutes or something. You could. Yeah. Yeah, I'll that you could. Yeah, I'll yeah, fat. We'll do that. Um, no, but I'm gonna get off because it's. Um, I need sleep. All right. At least you're gonna have a wank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. See Sorry. you later. Cheers. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. I'll sleep.
That's it. We need to get we need to get Raggy in for a wee bit. Raggy, get your arse on here. Raggy. Oh, oh. Yeah. Come so, on, Raggy, lad. So don't beer room was someone Raggy getting the red card. Drink, drinking Harry, on a Monday night. You've got I, a few I, recommendations. Yeah, I've checked out. There's a uh, Alvin I've had before. You can get them here. La Source I looked at. The last two I haven't. Um, so I'll just. Oh, Alvin! Alvin can get everywhere, can't you? I had. Yeah. Um, oh, it was yeah. like a blueberry. Um, creek or well, whatever the blueberry version of a creek is, just a stout. Mm. Yeah. Looked like a Flemish sour. It was absolutely amazing. I, you know who gets them in is is Rob Doyle. He gets a lot of them in. Oh, think, Dealer Doyle. I'm not paying D- Dealer Dealer Doyle. Um, but also, who can get them in for you is probably um, Mike, Mike James. He'll probably get some in for you. Ah, oh, cool. Mike James. Do you know he's he's mates with Roberto? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he he was the old brewer landlocked. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And then then he moved to Phantom, and then now he's back at landlocked again. All right. Cool. Yeah. An interesting way of going about, but yeah. Yeah, international brewer of mystery. <laughs> yeah, well, I've gone for classic still with twigs. Twi- oh, <laughs> twig ales. The big boy. No brown ale. Right, I need to have it again. It's been a long old time. This is the one, this is, I've been, I don't know. I was going to save it for something special, but I thought, fuck it. Um, but this is the last bottle of Sam's that I haven't had. Um, hmm. Aside from, I've had, I haven't had some of the um, fruit beers because the fruit beers. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had Stingo, Chocolate Stout, yeah, yeah, Mild. That's probably about it. Uh, Imperial oh, Stout, mild, Imper- mild Imperial in Stout, bottle. as well. They do a mild in bottle. No, I had it in the Turk's Head. Oh yeah, yeah, in the in the on on the on the draft, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's cracking. Oh, you you want the bitter, old brewery bitter? Yeah. Mm. I think yeah. I think I had like half a mild, and uh, I can't remember how much. It didn't cost very much, but I I always think back. The cheapest pint of mild I've ever paid was one pound ten, uh, and that was the <laughs> that was in in Coventry at the old Greyhound, um, yeah. which was yeah one pound ten for a pint. Beakston's champion dark mild on, on keg but it, there's something glorious about it i think <laughs> I, I think i think i paid one pound 50 in when i lived in pershaw mm. uh in worcestershire for i think it was the same beer to be honest it was beakston's dark or whatever it was yeah it's like the oh it's, it's mucky though isn't it it's mucky but it's it's mucky but it's gorgeous at the it's same special. time it's special yeah I think, I think cheapest cheapest pint I've ever got of something that's decent was acorn, um, Golovka, um, Imper- imperial stout. Yes, spoons. Imperial stout, yeah. um, and that must have been that was in Nottingham at the I, I, either called a mulberry bush or the gooseberry bush or something like that. Um, and it was it was basically my local pub, but it was twenty meters away from my flat. Oh. Um, having the spoons, out. I, 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 and I know all the things about spoons and how much people hate them, and I, I just don't listen because I still go to them. Because I'm a shit human. I know. And a mil- millionaire brewer. And a millionaire brewer. I'm tight. <laughs> and whatever. Yeah. No, I, I still go. I don't publicise it these days because I got that much stick last time. I just go in. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Is. You just you just check in and uh, don't say where you've checked into. Exactly. You just had the beer on cask, but not where it was. It was in a fine oh, yeah. local ale pub for local people. Local ale for local people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, I don't mind the schools, mate. Barnsley beer in Nottingham. Barnsley. I had an acorn beer tonight. Mm. Yorkshire Pride. Healthy, yeah. Where's all the sound gone? What's happened there? Yeah. Am well, I the sound? Sound? back? Back, yeah. Here you I've, go. Had, I've had some local beers. 
Harry loses his sound quite a wee bit. I think your connection's a bit weird, Harry. Oh, my, my connection is should return to normal now. Local beers, local people. Oh, fuck you now. <laughs> Fucking steady rolling dickhead. No, it's, um, well, it's, it's like that, but it's different. It's, uh, they all taste the fucking same. No. This is a versus of two beers. Um, same malt base, same yeah. everything. Apart, same yeast, same malt, same water. The only thing they've changed was two different hops. They've used Mosaic in both, but they used Mosaic Cryo in one and Mosaic T90 in another. And Cryo shines through massively. I really? can just tell. Yeah. I can just tell with this because I've, I've the only reason I can tell is because I've had a Simcoe cryo before compared to a Simcoe T90. And I was like, yeah, and the Simcoe cryo was the Glasshouse one. Yeah. And it's just so much more in your face than, than the, the standard T90 would be. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've had. A butt was local ale for local people. And then finally, Bristol beer for Bristol people. <laughs> Bristol beer for Bristol people, I like that. So, uh, fuck off, Cloudwater, at the same time. You fucking... <sighs> Have you had any yeah. beer Tesco? Not Baldwin. going to. Not Brilliant. going to. They can go and shove their own beers up their own asses. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, I'm not going to because I've had this thought about Cloudwater for quite some time. And this was the first Cloudwater beer I bought since last year when they fucked all the local shops up. And, well, exactly, yeah. And um, we, we got a contract with them afterwards, but it's like when they did that, I was just like, well, fuck you then. I'm not going to buy your beer. Um, they, do, they do have a superiority complex. They, they, they yeah. Definitely, they definitely have a, have a, still have a, a feeling that they're the only brewers that make this beer, which they probably were back in the day, you know. Mm. How many years have been going now? Four years, five years. Oh. Yeah, they, 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 they've lost. They've lost their edge for me. Of cloud, cloud water. Yeah, I, I think a lot of lot more. I think they were the, the original kind of New England style brewers for me when they did. They did double IPA one, good. Yeah. Version two, good. Version three was just a step above because it was the first ever kind of New England style because everything before that was kind of more West Coast. And yeah. they did this crazy New England style double IPA. It was, I remember drinking it at Humulus Lupulus um, in Northern Monk in what, 2016? Yeah. Um, and tasting it, I was like, it's massively almondy, was one of the big notes we got back then. Yeah. But then also like so fruity and so fresh in your face. And it was just, it was nothing like it at the time. It was it absolutely was nothing first, like it. Um, it was the first. Craft ale I ever had was, was cloud water because someone, a mate of mine, bought some bottles mm. and it was the first beer I ever had that looked hazy. It was the yeah. first beer I ever had that had sort of aroma hops like that. I drank it, it was like fruit juice. I'm like, fuck, yeah. hell, what's this? Yeah. Um, and it just changed everything. Yeah. Um, so I credit cloud water for that. And the, 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 the bottles were always shine in my memory. Far more than when they started canning. Yeah, the bottles yeah. were fantastic. The first couple of cans they did were a bit Man. hit and miss. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, I went down to the brewery. I took my mother to the brewery, which just shows how cool I am. <laughs> um, it was her birthday weekend. I said, oh, we'll do something for me. I'll, I'll take you. I'll, I'll treat you special. I'll take you to, um, <laughs> I'll take you to, to a pint in a... In a, in a Converted railway arch. <laughs> oh, the old, the old barrel the store. The old right barrel store, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, back yeah. In the, the old barrel yeah. store was behind, and it was pissing with rain. We got yeah. so lost. We went round that bloody place about five times. Got there. Um, she do not drink beer. She was like a, a drowned rat. And then <laughs> I had these well uh, water beers, and it just tasted nothing like. Bottles, and I was so upset because they just mm. they were they were green, they were oniony, they were they were the cloud water of, of, of now. They were just far too fresh. Mm. Um and yeah, I just cried all the, all the way home whilst it was still raining. <laughs> could you, you could have gone to first class ales and 
and maybe Alphabet <laughs> at the same time. Because they, they were up there. I, I, so the first time I went to Cloudwater was when uh, Jim was with me. Uh, when we went in Manchester, we did Manchester Piss Up. And a couple of months before, I had been the unit a couple of doors up, angle grinding the fucking locks off uh, this unit. And um, because I was, we were trying to get into this unit where there had been a disagreement between two different brewery owners, and, and we were trying to get in to try and take all the stuff out. Because um, we, we'd, we'd done a kind of, we basically bought it all uh, from them. And, uh, but yeah, we, we did Cloudwater. We wanted, I think a couple of us wanted to go to Alphabet. Um, and then because we were interested at the time, and Rob was like, no, no, let's not go to Alphabet. Let's go, we'll go to track, but we won't go to alphabet. Okay, so we went to track. And track was okay back then. It's nothing like what it is nowadays. Track, um, me off. track pisses me off because um, they're trying to be every brewery for every man now. And, and they went to, I think they were the first to go into this sort of, um, oh, every brewery is going to make pity because apparently we all love cast pity. No fucking hipster. Prior to COVID, was drinking cast bitter. No, sort of it. And no. now he's this big trend. Yeah, they just he's just he's just going with the trend, going with the money, going with the hype. But yeah, I think it's it to me. But the thing is, you, they can't fucking do it. Is the big thing. They can't do it. So it it yeah. makes me laugh every single time. That's why I never buy them because they can't do it because they haven't had an experience. They they've had the experience of brewing for a hype brewery, which is my thing. Like. I'd love to go into one of those breweries and learn how to brew that sort of thing. Um, you but, but, to you, for your setup. No, I, I, I physically can't do it. We, we've my, the, the other brewer uh, with me, he's been a head brewer elsewhere. And we're like, yeah, we actually physically can't do it because we can't chill it down enough. Oh. Uh, we don't have conical fermentation tanks or anything like that. Um, so we, we literally just can't do it. You couldn't so we, we, in your system, could you? We, we can. Uh, we can get a decent amount of flavour, but we can't go anything above 20 kilos of dry hop. So, Otherwise, we have a shit of a transfer. Yeah, um, so we, 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 we do our best. We, we push the kit to the max um, on dry hopping and stuff, but we just know that we can't you know, produce those sort of crazy beers. And, and nothing's pressure rated on our, on our, of our tanks, so it's just like real ale, real men. Uh, kind of. <laughs> no, but it's, it's one of them. It's just they don't recognise the limitation of the market, of the brand, of the kit, yeah. and it pisses me off. And they'll use the same yeast strain. Yeah. They won't. They won't use an English ale yeast strain. They'll just use SO5 or whatever they use to ferment down whatever they've got, or London Fog or whatever, and say, "Oh, well, that's an yeah. ale yeast." Fuck off! Is it an ale yeast? <laughs> It's, it's amazing. Like I used to use Stone's Bitter yeast. It was a shit to use. Mm. Um, and that was our house yeast, was like Stone's Bitter. Yeah. Um, I didn't like it personally because um, it used to give a massive sulfury twang. I was about to say, Stone's <laughs> yeast was famous for being a proper sulfur. Yeah. yeah. I, don't how, I don't know how much the yeast contributed to that, but... but, but oh. they, it used to be. It used to be sort of you, you held your you held your nose whilst you drank it. Yeah, it was it was very sulfury, and um, we changed that last lockdown <clears throat> because we couldn't. We ordered a new yeast. Yeah. And then, then lockdown came again. We we're like, for fuck's sake, how you know, we can't keep this yeast alive. So basically, what we did, we moved we moved to powder yeast, and the powder yeast we moved to, I said, you know, the closest it will get. And uh, the most stable that we'll get to that is probably something like Nottingham. Oh, I love Nottingham. And um, so then we mo just moved to Nottingham because it's high attenuation. It ferments like um, a bunch. It ferments all the way down, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, and uh, which is good for us if any kind of issues happen and stuff. Yeah. It's handy for that. Um, but yeah, we take it down. We 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 stop at ten nine is what we do, and then in yeah. cask it'll drop it a little bit lower, of course. Um, but yeah, we've. Uh, I've, I've used that. I even used that for mine, as I said the other day. I even used it for a lager, um, and uh, it works absolutely fine. Um, love the stuff. And also, yeah, that, that, what, that, that what, lager sounded interesting. Like, it's <laughs> Kolsch-esque. 
Marguerite. There's, there, there's a there's a lot of playing around on the water profile to make it more lagery. Um, we d- we do change the water quite. It's, it's drastically different to what we do on our ales, so it massively affects the kind of water profile and and, and how it tastes. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I, I'm I'm slowly looking at. I'm going to speak. I've got a guy coming next month, and I want to change the water profile a little bit on the beers, but change it gradually over time, and um, make it make the beers kind of more softer, a little bit easier drinking, more okay. smashable. Interesting. Because I tend to find that our water our water here is really fucking hard. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of things I have to do to play with it, so I want to make the water a bit softer and make it more. See, I like I like that destroyable. Bird. I like that dirt and snatch me. I like you know hard as nails water and it gives it that. Oh yeah. You know yeah. it here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's harder than Burton water. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Well, because you're just off, you're just off the the. Um... Ken, is ours. Is where our water comes from. What's the what's the what's the thing round you? Oh, can't remember. Where do you brew, Swindon? Well, yes, yeah, just south of Swindon. Yeah, the nearest river is River Kennet, but we've got we use a borehole for the distillery, and then our water for brewery is Mains Water. And it's um, uh, oh, is it? fucking oh. what's it called? Uh, Thames, fucking Thames. It's not Thames Valley. What's it fucking called? I'm trying to think it's of the geographical. Term. There's a geographical term for where you are, and I keep saying, I keep thinking it's the Cheviots, and it's not the fucking Cheviots, because that's up near 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 our mate Jim's. Um, Oh, I can't think of it. The, the water is chalky, it's chalk, chalky as fuck. Is that, is that one thing? a little bit further north. Nah, mm. that's, that's all limestone and stuff. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I bought was just mega chalky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can notice that. Massively, but I don't know. Yeah, it's, it was Thames water is what we get. Shitty pressure. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they, they, legally they're supposed to have one... And I can see, at the moment, it's 0.7 is the fucking water pressure. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm ringing up and complain. The water pressure's not ready. I, I can see your water pressure's shite. It's not what I pay my bills for. You guys have to pay for use of water by um, volume as well, don't you? Yes, if, if you pay for it. If you, if, well, <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, you do, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and also, what goes through your drains as well, mm. Mm. Sewage. yeah, because uh, yeah, in Scotland, you just pay the count, it's covered in the council tax, I think. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, we don't pay for what. In, you, imagine trying to charge Scottish people for water when it rains as fucking much as it does. Come <laughs> on. Is, that, is, that, is that why Scotland's still a third world country? <laughs> <laughs> We're richer than your part of the country. <laughs> uh, you're not. I'd say that's uh, that's a hard talk, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. No, it's uh, oh, that's good. I suppose. Yeah, I suppose some of the, some parts of the country in Scotland are a bit third world. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. The whole the whole All of Glasgow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we'll see. We'll see, because that's our. I, I was. They're saying the elections. The election is next, next Thursday. Week. Next Thursday, yeah. Is it for, for the for the thingy for, for Hollywood? Yeah. Holly no, no. It's it's our our um. This is I keep fucking sending this shit through my door. Mm. Do not open this env- on envelope unless it's addressed to you. It is addressed to me. It's about the third time you sent it to me. Open mm. immediately. Do not delay. It's local elections, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so. Police um, commissioners and shit. Yeah. 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 I'm not. I'm, I, I can't even. I can't be bothered with this. Stuff. Fucking police crime commissioner. What the fuck is that about? Nah, yeah. can't be asked here. Then we're like, they can fuck off. I don't know why they got two letters. Oh, that's your ballot paper envelope. Yeah. A paper. Live, <laughs> live voting. <laughs> Because I think we elect, I think in Scotland we just elect everyone on the same day basically. It's just local councillors, 
Scottish Parliament, that's it. Job done. Happy days. Yeah. Uh, I think that will change. It doesn't look like it, does it? I think it'll just stay, stay yellow, stay SNP. Mm. Um, probably, yeah. It looks SN the SNP are going to win. Don't think there's much doubt about that. Um, and it's just a case of, I mean, it's um, Labour look as if they're going to hold steady. Tories are going to lose seats by the looks of it. Liberal Democrats seem to be, they've only got about five M, like five MSPs. Well, so they, they went down the shit around you anyway, didn't they? Yeah, well, and it, looks, it looks like the Greens are good. It looks like, it's quite funny because Alex Salmon started that other party, but in the polls it looks like the message that he was saying, oh, like, if you vote SNP, don't vote for the SNP in the regional vote, vote for another party because then you get more pro and they're voting for the Greens. They're voting for the Greens instead. Besides <laughs> <laughs> from his party, I like that. What, what's yeah. his party? Alba, isn't it? Alba, yeah. I mean, I think it might have worked if it was a different leader. See if it was somebody like Joanna Cherry or something like that. But yeah, Alex Salmond's kind of with the, everything that went on. Alex Salmond is uh, really not popular at all. So no, he's 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 yesterday's man. Yeah. He's, he's he's gone and dusted, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's yesterday's man. But uh, the Green, I have to admit, I've been impressed by the two Green leaders. The Patrick Harvey and Lorna Slater. Um, both Patrick Harvey's always been a really, he's always struck me as quite a decent guy and been very solid. And Lorna Slater, because they've got a co-leader, they've always got a male and a female leader. Um, Excuse my ignorance. Is the Scottish Green? But is that that's a different party to to our group? Yeah, they're they're separate. Yeah, they're separate. So, uh, um, yeah, no, it's because it's like, I think they I think they are wholly independent. Actually, I think the Welsh Green Party is the same. That's what I'm saying. I think you've got a green, you've got an actual proper like registered party for each, which yeah. always is always interesting me. Um, yeah. Rather than obviously Labour being whatever. And, like, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, that that's it. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, it's it's the the SNP are going to win. I don't think there's much doubt about that. It's just a question ah. about how it's by how much, and I mean, it's a question of how big the independence majority is going to be now. Um, but um, yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think I. I mean, I'm. I don't mind. I'm going. I'm going to vote in, in my first vote. I'll vote for. The, I'll vote for the SNP in the constituency, and I'll vote Green in the. How do you um, uh, How do you do it from from overseas? Is there a? My friend vote. I've got a proxy vote. My friend votes for me. Oh. So, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I said to him, oh, will you do my proxy vote for me? And he's like, oh, only if you vote SNP. And I said, well, yeah, I'm voting it. <laughs> so I want to vote SNP. <laughs> it's quite funny. <fine. laughs> so, yeah, he was like, he was, um, he's a cop as well. So, yeah, he was like, uh, he was, uh, he was like, uh, I said, yeah, I was like, vote. I was like, yeah, put put me down for the SNP and the constituency, but then green in the the regional. And I was like, think, I said to him, you think about doing that as well, because then it's more, Pro independent seats, so yeah. yeah. Um, I'm quite yeah. excited by there's a new uh, Northern Independence Party. Mm. Got three of them now. And, uh, <laughs> it's just no North Mid Middle Britain, North Middle Britain. You want to break away? No, North North Britain. North Britain. Not 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 well. North not, not not no North Britain. So not Scotland. So you're not North Britain. No, we're not, we're not foreign. We're not foreign. No, not, sorry. <laughs> it's North Britain. Scots are foreign, but Yorkshire isn't foreign, even I mean, though they sound foreign. Scotland is <laughs> North, Scotland's definitely North Britain, and I say that Yorkshire is another part of Britain. It's in it's just, but we got to build a we got we need to build a wall the fucking wall again, innit? I mean, you had one. It stopped the Romans. It's but it won't <laughs> stop the English. <laughs> See me walking around over Hadrian's Wall. <laughs> oh, oh dear me. I haven't <laughs> seen his live stream for a long time, actually. I haven't seen much, no. I've oh, just. I, I, I haven't bothered, really. No. Yeah. Uh, it was fun for a bit, and now I can't be asked with it, to be honest. Uh, oh, no, it's. Uh... I got very, I got very very drunk and I trolled one of his live streams for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him for a full liquor. 
Oh, see, I get accused. I mean, I get accused of everything. You know, it's it's yeah. it's 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 of course it's me that's behind everything. It's nothing to do with his own behaviour. Sure. Nothing to do with his own behaviour. It's just all me. It's all, everything is me. If Harry did it, it was me. Well, too fucking late <laughs> because you are the evil in this world. So we blame you entirely. It's just, it's, yeah. I genuinely, I think that that is one of the things that is that is with it. It's because I'm a, a different nationality. That's that's maybe part of the reason why it's. He's a lot he's, of he's casual there. Scottish twat. He's his, he's his Scottish twat in Sweden, isn't it? But yeah, no, it is it is it is just funny. It's just these days, it's just. Yeah, um, it's, it's the right the right wing will just will just pounce anyone that's different to, I don't know, a, a disempowered, borderline autistic right wing. Idiot, mm. and then they'll just pounce on anyone else. Yeah, no, there's there's something there's something obviously not uh, not a hundred percent compass mentis in that mind, but no, uh, some, some fucking something. Okay. He's just obsessed. He's he's. he's yeah. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's we have. I mean, doing the teacher training, you see, you get told about all these different behaviours and stuff like that. And there's quite a few things where you look at this and you're like, mm, and then I'm sure you'll have the same thing as a support worker as well. Yeah, you know, look at some of these things and you're just like, mm, yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah. Even, even even doing support work, you know, I've, I've got a basic understanding. Yeah. That's not 100%. Well, we'll mark it yeah, no, it's it's not worth bothering about. It's just a, it's just a case of just you just smile and nod and laugh at these people. Nah, nah. But, oh, yeah, I think the job you know the job was done with that original video to show who he is, and that's that. I've oh, done. Yeah. I've actually done. I've done nothing since. Genuinely, I've done absolutely nothing. It's not all the, not it, the way where you where you put up the comments and did everything else. Oh yeah, apart from apart yeah, apart from yeah, apart from that when he started saying, Oh, you're a pedophile he's like, Oh, you're a pedophile, you're a Holocaust denier, blah blah blah. I just shared that around. I, I shared that around because I thought Harry, that was huh? Harry was a Holocaust denier. Were you the Holocaust no, denier? No, not me. Harry was a rapist. Yeah, you're 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 a cottager and a rapist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm you know, I'm a part I'm uh I was the Holocaust denier. Married to a good man. Married to an Indian man, came to Sweden because I wanted to live under communism. Uh, what else? Did, what else did I apparently do? <laughs> trying to remember now. I'm trying to remember all these other things that I'm supposed to have done. That's uh, you. Yeah, no that 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 was that was, it, that was it. Yeah, he said. Yeah, he said I was a Holocaust denier. Then he said I was a kitty fiddler. And then I used to hang out about hang out around schools and all of these kind of things. That's that's all the stuff he used to come out with. And you're just like, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got uh, these guys, Birium, Craft Brew. They've they've tuned into the, the broadcast just at the wrong time. <laughs> and all of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, the, uh, they had um I reviewed these guys are a little brewery up near um Gothenburg and uh, I reviewed oh, their yeah. Their black IPA because I just like the name Renegade Priests. And it was a black IPA, <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, you know, I, I make a point. You know how I do these local orders like every month. Um, it's like um, I always make a point because you know you get the the new beers from the breweries that you like, and then I try and make you know three or four. I try and get three or four beers from breweries that I've never heard of. And this month, or was that last month? Now, these guys were one of the ones that I had the. Uh, quite recently and it was a solid beer and um yeah he wants to send me another two or three things down so yeah cool to have them on and always cool to get these uh these wee things going on uh just so saying, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna jump off because i need to uh do my food for tomorrow for work i will love you and leave you yeah, I tell, well, I tell you what, it was. I was only going to go until like midnight my time anyway, so we'll just call it quits now. Eh? Just do that. Okay. But we, we should end on a note from Raggy. I don't have a water meter. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> you, always get, you, always get some abs, you always get some quality quotes from Raggy. I think, you know, I think this is one thing we should do for Raggy. We should get, we should have some like Google document where 
we log when we log into it and we watch when we watch a raggy review, we should write down the first thing that he says and the last thing that he says on the stream. <laughs> because you get I've logged, honestly, I've logged it into some of Raggy's things and it's just um the first thing the first thing you hear when you log in is just priceless and then the last thing before he turns off the, the camera is just always brilliant too. I love Raggy's reviews. I, I just love I love that man's yeah, personality. Yeah. He's brilliant. Love Raggy. Oh, oh. I want to meet him in the flesh. Have you, have, have you met him in the flesh? No, no. Oh, Raggy yeah. was, yeah. Am I not right in thinking Raggy was pretty, um, in a sense, Raggy was pretty isolated from yeah, the rest of the He had a pre- back, didn't he? No, no, but I mean, I mean, in more that in terms of Raggy just sort of did his own thing and was completely like separate from the whole yeah. else, YouTube yeah. community. Yeah. And then I think it was Craig approached him and now. He's like joining in all the time. It's great. Mm. Yeah, love it. Yeah. All right then. Well, uh, we can call it there, guys. So yeah, thank you to everyone who has joined in. Yeah, thank you to Hoppala uh, Brewery from Latvia. I need to go and do a bit, of, make some brewery notes so I can taste some of these beers now. And uh, yeah, thank you to Harry, Hugh, Paul, Thomas. Did we have anyone else in? I think that was it. Not when I, I, think I think that was it. Yep. So guys, thank you for watching. There's three of us, three of you left. And yeah, we'll call it there. Cheers just now, guys. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.